Boston College's Mike Cloud is looking forward to a picture-perfect day against the Naval Academy. Let's take it to him. Guts and glory. They know how to go for it at Navy. Quarterback Brian Broadwater, a dynamic force after just one start. At Boston College, Mike Cloud is the nation's fourth leading rusher. For BC coach Tom O'Brien, a shot at his alma mater and an opportunity to end a three-game losing streak. Up next, it's Navy versus Boston College in the Big East Football Conference Game of the Week. Beautiful day, big crowd here at Alumni Stadium in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts, as the Boston College Eagles play host to the midshipmen of Navy. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Sims, along with Jeff Boston. Good to have you with us as we look at a Navy ball club that's two and four, had some ups, had some downs. One thing they do well is run the ball. They're the number one rushing team in the country. Number one rushing team. The big key, Dave, 57 attempts per game. That will be a key for this offense. When you look in their backfield, a couple guys are going to be the workhorses. Irv Dingle back from injury. Matt Harden also will get a, a number of carries. Big week last week against Colgate. But the real key for the Navy offense has to be the sophomore quarterback, Brian Broadwater. Last week in his first career start against Colgate, 216 yards rushing, 381 yards of total offense. When you talk to the Navy staff, the one word that keeps popping up, athleticism, athleticism. He did a great job last week going eight for nine passing as well. For Boston College, they had a great start, 3-0, lost three straight cents. They're 0-6 in October. Mike Cloud, they got to get him going today. Mike Cloud will be the key for this offense. He should surpass the 1,000-yard mark. Terrific running back, runs inside. But when you look at this, this Boston College offense, you know, Scott Mutrin's going to have to play better, but Mike Cloud is the key. When you look defensively, Mike, yeah, Chris Hovan, yeah, look at that war paint. He's ready for war. He will be the key for the defense to try and stop a very dynamic Navy offense. For Boston College, the Eagles' success depends so much on Mike Cloud continuing his march towards a Big East single-season rushing record. It's Navy at BC coming up. It's a beautiful day here at Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. Navy and Boston College in our Big East football conference game of the week as we look at downtown Boston. 67 degrees, wind not too much of a factor, and you got to love the forecast, sunny and pleasant. Let's go down to the sidelines and our third member of our broadcast crew, John Sanders. David, you know, there's something always special about playing one of the service academy teams. That is especially true for Tom O'Brien, as you pointed out. He graduated from the Naval Academy. He was a three-year starter there at defensive end, went on to the Marine Corps, reached the rank of major, came back as the offensive line coach under George Wells. He was also the recruiting coordinator. He landed a pretty good one in Napoleon McCallum. So this is a special day for Tom O'Brien against Navy. David? All right, thank you, John. Tom O'Brien... And Boston College, oh, for their last six in the month of October. They said it's just one of those things, Jeff. I don't know if it's one of those things. Uh, it, it's, it's called an offer, you know? <laughs> Series history, BC leads it 13 to 10 at last meeting. A lot of scoring could have more of that today. BC's won the last three meetings. Last time Navy won it was back in 89 as we look at Jermaine Walker on the left and Cedric Washington on the right. Tim Schubster, junior from Satchis, Texas, with the kickoff, and it's a good one. Walker is going to take it four yards deep and keep it right there. Good move. Let's look at Jermaine out of Houston, Texas. Quarterback is number 12, Scott Mutrin. He is a fifth-year senior out of Middleburg Heights, Ohio. His numbers on the season, you see there. Last week against Syracuse, 11 of 20, 199 yards and two touchdown passes, and BC goes right to work. Mike Cloud, the deep back. They fake it to him. And Nutrin in trouble. And down he goes, a sack for the Navy Academy. Naval Academy. That is sack number nine on the season for the midshipmen. They lose five yards on that play. Well done by the midshipmen. A look at the BC offense. Ryan Utzler, good running back, uh, actually a better blocker than running back. Dick Cosmo is their leading receiver with 25 catches. He's got three touchdowns. Doug Brzezinski, they love him. He'll be a superstar on Sundays next year. And there's a look at Big Doug, who's tipping at 6'5", 305. Second down and long for Boston College. 
Mike Cloud, his first rushing attempt of the day, and he gets it across the 20 to the 21 yard line, picks up six. And Rico Hunter brings him down for Navy. With a midshipman, Jason Snyder, he had an interception against Tulane a few weeks ago. He's also the sack leader for the mids. Justin Jordan at linebacker. Actually, today, he is uh, being replaced by Brad Chatlos and Jamie Doffermeyer, the leading tackler by a wide margin on this club. He's got 42 solo tackles. Third down, nine. 21-yard line. Here's Newton, sometime. He's already been sacked once. Flips it out and incomplete as he tried to get it to Mike Cloud. Cloud on the season with 15 catches, so a three and out. Not the type of start that Boston College and Tom O'Brien were looking for. Really surprised with Boston College's play selection. They're a team that gets it done on the ground, much like Navy, and they come out the first uh, three plays and throw, try and attempt two passes. Jason Malecki back to punt. Ryan Reed deep for the punt. It's a sailor. Took off on him. Got his hands on it. Could be in trouble. Can he get it? Let's see. Loose ball. Still loose. Penalty flag. All the way back to the 26-yard line. Penalty flag on the field. It came from the Navy sideline. Side judge on that side of the ballpark. Referee Jack Childress and staff trying to sort things out. Reed wanted to uh, prevent the ball from maybe going inside his 20 and failed to make an over the head, over the shoulder catch, which is a tough one. And you mentioned it early in the game. There is a little bit of wind in this stadium. It's kind of a swirl. It, it will have an effect on the kicking game. So that's going to back Navy up. During the kick, there was holding by the return team. That's 10 yards from the end of the kick. First down. Somehow you get the feeling that Jack Childress is, is somewhere uh, from other than the Boston area, wouldn't you say? <laughs> well, we've got our first time out of the afternoon. It's Charlie Weatherby in the Naval Academy about to put the ball in play upon our return here at Chestnut Hill, Mass. There's a look at Ryan Reed. Had some problems on the 54-yard punt by Jason Malecki. Yeah, Jason Malecki got a great kickoff. If you're a punt returner, this is not the angle you want to try and approach the ball. Stop it right here. Here's your line of scrimmage, okay? Keep your shoulders square and facing the punter. Don't turn your back. Dangerous catch. Fortunate Navy was able to retain this ball. First and 10 for the midshipman at the 16-yard line. Here's Broadwater. And a penalty flag on the play as he was trying to get the ball to Travis Williams, the junior out of Lexington, North Carolina. So a couple of penalties right off the bat here, Jeff. Offsides on the defense, five-yard penalty, repeat first down. Neither team really as sharp as they would like to be to get this game started. A little bit of nerves early in this game. Uh, we talked to the Navy offensive coordinator, Ken Niamatololo. What a name. He said he was going to throw the ball deep the first play. He did throw the ball, and that's really a landmark decision. They only threw the ball nine times last week against Colgate. Eight for nine was their percentage. First and five, here's Broadwater. Runs his spread offense and gets it to his running back. Did a good job to get it to Jason Wolf, the senior out of North Canton, Ohio. Irv Dingle is back after a couple of weeks after a left ankle sprain, leading runner for Navy. And Mark Mill, six catches on the season. Look for him on the outside. Costas Katsidakis, top offensive lineman, goes 6'2", 270. All-purpose offensive lineman. And there's a look at Terrence Anderson. He's got a 3.29 GPA in economics. He's the Navy center. Broadwater keeps it. And they read that option nicely on that second down and short. For Boston College, Chris Hovand, we talked about him. He is the junior out of Rocky River, Ohio. 
Second in tackles and second in sacks. And number one in face paint. You bet. Brian May, the top tackler on the club. He's a sixth year senior, got a medical red shirt. And George White, he will stick you from that strong safety spot. He's got one interception on the season, but he's very physical. Look at Hovan and his wrestling makeup. Third down and real short for Navy. Broadwater got two men in front of him. He stumbles. What a break for Boston College. Frank Chamberlain, number 44, was there to jump on top, but Broadwater stumbled, and that will force a punt by Navy. When you look in the statistics tomorrow, there will be no tackles for the AstroTurf, but this one should be credited. Watch Broadwater's feet right, right there. Anybody that's played on AstroTurf before knows exactly what I'm talking about. Very dry day, sticky. The turf will trip you. It makes you look like uh, what we call a fool. A little, a little bit of a crown on the field as we look at Trey Kalish. His number's pretty impressive thus far. Junior out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Line drive Sailor. And it's going to be brought back. Jermaine Walker's got it. And he's run out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. And for a second there, I thought he was talking about a uh, fair catch. 10-yard return for Walker. Got a timeout on the field. It'll be the second possession for Boston College. The Eagles three and three got off to a terrific start. They've lost three straight, including a tough one last week to Syracuse. We're back for their second offensive possession as Navy gets ready right after this. Boston College offense ready to take the field once more. And Mike Cloud, we talked to him yesterday about the Eagles approach to this game today against Navy. I think our, our approach is, you know, we have to come out and be fired up. Uh, we lost some intensity in the last few games. Uh, we came out pretty flat. Um, tomorrow we got to come out very pumped up and, you know, get the passing game going, jump on Navy early, and hopefully come away with the victory. Mike Cloud and the Eagles last week lost here at Alumni Stadium to Syracuse 42-25. It was too much Donovan McNabb. 13 of 19 passing, 182 yards and two touchdowns. There were so many chances where they had, a, had to get McNabb, and he made big plays to kill him. And that Kevin Johnson kickoff return didn't take help either. Up, <laughs> you bet you. Up, one back. Here's Mutin looking to throw. Gets it outside. Jermaine Walker. 42, 45, almost the 45-yard line. Penalty flag, probably be a face mask, and Rico Hunter covering for Navy. So Walker with his 12th catch of the season. Picks up 11 yards on that play. And if you talk to all the people at Boston College, the one thing that keeps coming up with Mutrin is the, the inconsistency of his play. You know, one week he's good, one week he's we down. Had an incidental face pass by the defense. Five yards from the end of the run. First down. Enrico Hunter, the right cornerback, called for the incidental face mask. Jermaine Walker, number one. Just a little stop and go. Mutrin, the ball kind of floats. He's waiting on the ball a little bit. Right there, you see the right hand. I don't know. No harm, no foul. Cloud, nice move. Pick up about three yards. Jamie Doffermeyer, the leading tackle for tackler for Navy. He got in there and forced Cloud to step inside. And when you look at this Navy defense, uh, three weeks ago they played against West Virginia. Uh, running back Amos Zeroway, decent running back, I would say. Oh, yeah. This team. First play that uh, Amos Zeroway carries the football, he gains 35 yards. The rest of the day, he's held to 95 total. That's impressive. And Navy was up 17-3 in that game against West Virginia. Second down and seven in Navy territory at the 48. Here's Mutin out of the shotgun. Gets it outside, and it's dropped by Dennis Harding. Harding, the senior out of Lake Clifton Eastern High School in Baltimore. Still surprised by the play selection of Boston College. When you look at them, they are a running team. Mike Cloud is what really makes them go. They're facing a third and seven. The big difference, size advantage. When you look at BC's offensive line, the biggest in the Big East, six foot four and a half, 307 pounds. The Navy defensive lineman checking in at 254. Huge difference. No question. Plus 27 pounds for Boston College. Going to throw. Here comes the blitz. Mutant time. Throws over the middle. It's dropped. Intended receiver, the tight end, Rob Tardio. Number 16, Gary Lane covering for Navy, number one. So here's another punt situation for Boston College. And another passing attempt. Two series, five passing attempts. Unlike BC, 
But you know what? Sometimes you throw the ball to set up the run. They may be trying to loosen up that Navy front eight. Utrin one for four passing thus far. Malecki gets into this one, going for the corner. He's got a man down there covering. And, oh, it takes it. Boston College. I mean, a Navy bounce back upfield. So Navy's going to be in good shape. They're going to mark it at the 25-yard line. Punt of just 27 yards. And another penalty flag. Offsides Navy is the preliminary indication. And you have to believe Tom O'Brien, the Boston College head coach, takes his punting team back and they redo this one. Malecki certainly feels he can punt the ball better than what he just did. No question. Almost 43 yards of kick coming into today's game. I really enjoyed talking with Charlie Weatherby yesterday. What a nice man and great success he's we had. We have sides by the defense. That's five yards from the previous spot. Repeat, fourth down. Turning into the Jack Childress story. Charlie Weatherby in his fourth year at Navy, though. The last two seasons, certainly uh, turning this Naval, Naval Academy program around. First time they've had back-to-back -back winning season since 1981 and 82. 23 wins that he's recorded eighth most in Navy history. Needs one more for seventh place and wins. Here's Malecki. Reed is there. Fair catch. He makes it at the six yard line and much better situation now for Boston College. Suppose at the 25 now back to the six a 37 yard punt nicely done by Malecki. And what that does how much is an offside penalty worth 19 yards right there mm -hmm. 19 yards. Out of town scores a good Tulane club against Rutgers. Rutgers uh, last week, good win. West Virginia, Miami, that's a biggie in the conference. That's UAB playing host to Virginia Tech. And Ohio State look for them to put up some numbers today against Northwestern. Here comes Navy from their own six. Herb Dingle, the fullback, maybe a couple. Going against Chris Hovan and company up, up in the middle. Tackle made by number 44, Frank Chamberlain, former former fullback. It's amazing to me how college football players are switched around all you the know, time. You know, they're 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 a running back, they're a fullback. All of a sudden, they're a defensive lineman. Same thing with Navy. Broadwater came to the Naval Academy as a defensive back. Picked up three on that play. There's Broadwater. Holds on to it and gets across the 10 to the 11-yard line. Picks up two on that play. Adam Newman, number 88, brought him down. And look at Brian May. He's going to be the subject of our ESPN Plus spotlight here in the first half. Senior out of Valley College, New York. Six-year man. Leads a team in tackles. Had neck surgery last spring. And he says, you know what? I'm good as new right now. And coaching staff's glad to have him back. Big third down situation for Navy. Broadwater. Option pitches. Gets it, and a lot of running room here. Down the sideline and out of bounds at the 50-yard line is John Vereen. John Vereen, the junior out of Pasadena, Maryland. His longest run of the season. The play is set up by Brian Broadwater, the sophomore quarterback. Right here, he is the key. The quarterback taking it down the line of scrimmage. Option. Yeah, watch the last moment. Right here, he has a moment of truth, but what he has to do, if you're the quarterback, you have to make the defender come in and commit. At the last moment, there it goes. Vereen following, and this is all about, you know, being in the right place, conscientious, dotting the T's, cro I mean, crossing the T's, dotting the I's. A very precise offense, a fun offense to watch. So many details that you have to be aware of from a defensive standpoint. Talking to uh, Tim Rose, you know, this isn't an, he's the defensive coordinator. This is not an offense you look at every day. And you see it very seldom. But the thing about it is just as much discipline on the offensive side to run this offense. 40 yards on that play by Vereen, his longest of the season. His blood wanted to throw his first. Here's a deep ball. And a man there makes the catch. Nicely done by Jason Wolf. Coming back on the underthrown ball, beat double coverage, first down Navy. When you're the number one team in the nation rushing the football, play action is very effective. Brian Broadwater, the sophomore quarterback, had he not underthrown this football, this is a touchdown. Number 33, Jason Wolf, the senior co-captain, got behind the secondary, had to wait on the football, otherwise it's six. 
Balls at the 22 of Boston College. Dingle up the middle, hammering home. Ryan May went for a ride, number 46, as well as George White, who came up from the strong safety spot. So much movement. And, I, and some of you old timers out there who remember the single wing, this has got to bring back some fond memories. I ran the single wing in high school. So did I. I never snapped to a quarterback until I got to college. I played short side tight end in my sophomore year in high school. I think when I look at this offense, it's controlled confusion. No question. People going in a million different directions. Dingle hammering up the middle again. And that's the, the key there is that fullback as Mike Willits makes the stop. You got to honor him every time. Well, you've got to have somebody for the dive. You have to have someone for the quarterback, and you have to have someone for the pitch. Now, if you, if you get too many people involved, you're going to try and stop them with eight, nine people. That's when the play action comes in. Mm -hmm. Manny Metcalf, number 25, came into the game. You see John Vereen. Dingle up the middle. And he's going to be well short of a first down. Adam Grace, nice job by number 92 for Boston College. Adam's a sophomore out of Kings Park, New York. He's another guy that converting one from linebacker to nose guard. Now back at the defensive end. You know, you've always wanted to be a running back, eh? It's amazing <laughs> when you've got that little piece of leather, the amount of heat it will draw. Field goal attempt, Tom Vanderhorst, his longest from 41. This will be from 31 yards out. Kick is up, and it's good. And really, give Navy a lot of credit. They had a noose a holder today, Mark Mill, replacing John Limbert. So Tom O'Brien down to his alma mater, the Naval Academy, on the board with a field goal to take a 3-0 lead here, 6.32 to go here in the first quarter. Navy with a two and four record off a big win last week against Colgate. Trying to get it done here against Boston College. I look at Paul Revere outside Old North Church. The Navy's coming. The Navy's coming is what he would say today here in Boston. Mr. Vanderhorst with a 31 yard field goal. And Ryan Reed was the holder and check this out. Well, right here, the number one thing, number 78 on the field goal kicker, that's unusual. <laughs> Ryan Reed's the holder. Stop it right there. This is what a kicker does not like. Football with the laces pointed toward him. Unaffected, makes good from 31 yards, gives Navy a 3-0 lead. Vanderhorst, a senior out of Newman, Georgia. 31-yard field goal. He's now 6 of 10 in field goals this season. What 14 of 20 a year ago. Tim Shubsta set to kick it off. Tim a 6-1 junior. Navy with a 3-0 lead here at Boston College. Headed towards Jermaine Walker. He'll take it right there and keep it. So BC will start at its own 20. BC's best starting field position thus far today has been its own 33. This will be the third time they've had the ball this afternoon. This is the Big East Football Conference Game of the Week. Navy taking on Boston College as the Eagles step out of conference for this week. I'm Dave Sims with Jeff Bosnick and John Sanders. A great shot of downtown Boston. We're just minutes away. Scott Nugent, slow start. BC quarterback one of four in passing 11 yards to give it the cloud does a heck of a job to elude the first two but brought down after maybe a gain of one there is another penalty flag on this play Boston College will be flagged for holding on the right tackle Paul Zukaskis yep and you know it's it's always amazing when you follow the offensive line they 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 get up and, and they're pointing to the official was it on me and they knew it was on them <laughs> that's a bad key <laughs> Think any of these uh, BC players, uh, any or linemen uh, in both of these clubs read the Sports Illustrated uh, article about all the tricks, the dirty tricksters in uh, the NFL? Well, their head coach, Tom O'Brien, certainly had. He, he reminded me yesterday. Watch the right side of your screen. Right there. 
on uh, number 97. Oh. See, he's got him up by the collar. Yep. You know, you don't see those types of moves in rodeos. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Larry, Larry Mahan can't do that. <laughs> he did a gri good grip on uh, Jason Snyder. Snyder's a good player. First down and 22 for BC. Cloud draws a crowd. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Good work by Brad Wimpson. Brad Wimpsett, number 94 for Navy. Mike Cloud has had an outstanding career at Boston College. He's out of Portsmouth, Rhode Island. And the average per carry, gotta like that. Gotta Doesn't like, and really in 95 and 6 was mired behind Omari Walker, a great player here at Boston College. And another whistle, three carries. 11 yards thus far as Navy calls a timeout. So Navy with a timeout at the 5.08 mark here in the first period. Navy with a 3 0 lead. A couple of big plays in that the 40 yard run by Vereen and the 27 yard pass. Broadwater to Wolf. And it's something Mike Cloud said in uh, the early part of this game. You know, our, our team needs to come out fired up. We need to come out there and really start attacking, passing the football. It appears to me that the Boston College offense is a little bit flat right now. No question. Don't forget, next week, we got a beauty. Big East game of the week, West Virginia against Virginia Tech. Some of you will see that game. Get a look at Preston Prelo and Amos Zeroway. Check your local listings for that. And some of you will see Pittsburgh and Syracuse. Check your local listings. That's Halloween football from the Big East next Saturday. And that West Virginia, Virginia Tech game, one team it will be trick and the other one it will be treat. Boy, better have everything laced up for that one. Should be a good one. Second down and 21 for Boston College. Maybe might even bring a blitz. They do. Here's Mutrin to throw. Hangs it up high. He's got a man down there. And the catch is made by Anthony DeCosmo. First down, Boston College. Mike Weedle was covering on the play. 5'7", sophomore. He's a heck of a story. DeCosmo, 6'3", 29 yards on the pickup. Navy's defensive coordinator, Dick Bumpus, obviously focused on number 21, Mike Cloud, and stopping the run. Nine people in the box. DeCosmo, senior. You talked about the height advantage. Six foot three against five foot seven. Mike Weedle is quite a story, though. Served three years in the Marines. He came back. He's the oldest player on this football team, and he's only a sophomore. Great catch by DeCosmo. Wanted to go to Army originally and wound up enlisting in the Marines before coming to the Naval Academy. And now Mutrin did not like what he saw in that Navy defense. It calls timeout. It's their first. Both teams have used up a, a timeout here in the first period. There is, there doesn't seem to be a sense of urgency here. You right? Know what, you and, feel any juice? And it was interesting talking to Scott Mutrin yesterday. He was talking about his quarterback play, and, and I was asking, how does he feel about his own play? And it was kind of refreshing to watch the Green Bay Packers for the last couple of weeks, and, and namely the quarterback position, Brett Favre. He said he struggled. He said he's had a couple of 300-yard passing games, but you know what? He has he struggled. He says, I've struggled. He says, but I'm trying to get back in that groove. Yeah. Trying to find a groove indeed. Always in his groove is John Sanders. What do you have, John? You talked about Mike Weedle just briefly. He's one of the smallest guys on the field, but he's also got a 41-inch vertical leap. In the Marine Corps, of course, for a couple of years, then worked his way through the Naval Academy prep school and now to the Naval Academy. One of the problems he had in his plebe year was taking orders and being told what to do by guys who were two or three years younger than him. But he's overcome that, and he's starting for the midshipmen. There's a tendency to learn how to do that at the military academy. All these kids yesterday. Yes, sir. You were right. looking for your dad, weren't you? I was refreshed. <laughs> yeah, it was refreshing. <laughs> you're you're looking behind guys. you. We're, we're so in five stick, right? <laughs> First down, here's Cloud, a lot of running room on the draw. Gets outside, breaks a tackle, breaks another one. Picks up about nine. Good looking run by Mike Cloud. Key block up there, number 63, Damian Woody. In my opinion, one of, watch the big guy. Clearing the entire right side. Their fullback, Ryan Utzler with the big block. Mike Cloud does not need a big hole. Shaking and baking, the thing you notice with Mike Cloud, running so much more powerful in the hole this year. Yes, indeed. Second down and short. 
Cloud gets the carry, bounces it up the middle, and nice surge as he picks up the first down in the Navy territory to the 46-yard line. Gary Lane, the strong safety, and Jamie Doffermeyer with the tackle. Gain of eight. And this is one of the, uh, you know, parts of the Boston College offense that I like. Yeah, you're Mike Cloud. You've got to like your offensive line. Number 74, Brzezinski with a little kickout block. Like I said, Mike Cloud doesn't need a big hole. I could have ran through that hole. Dave, you may have been able to run oh, through no that hole. Oh, no question. Paul LeCare is in the game as well at right guard. Here's Mutin to throw under pressure, gets it out. And oh, boy. There's a collision. Right at the 48-yard line, Cloud makes the catch. Daryl Hill, number 55, the sophomore out of Jupiter, Florida. Good stick there. When you look at this Navy squad, these kids are from all over the country. Daryl Hill, number 55, closing ground quick. You don't know how hard that is to open field tackle a guy with the, the type of elusiveness that number 21 Mike Cloud possesses. Cloud, 994 yards on the season. Six more to 1,000. Neutron to throw outside. Got a man, and down he goes. That's Derek DeWalt. His first catch of the season, of the game, Doffermeyer on the tackle. DeWalt, 5'9", redshirt freshman out of Chicago's Simeon Vocational High School. His first catch of the afternoon, a gain of six. And even when he's completing passes, it looks like Mutrin's ball is floating. No it question. doesn't have a lot of zip on it. This maybe float like uh, Mike McMahon floated a couple last week's second half, taking Pittsburgh apart. They all got there. Talking about the Rutgers put it back. Flank is screen. Jermaine Williams will be short of a first down as he gets inside the 40. For about the 42, Greg Adams, number 93, with Gary Lane, number one, making the tackle for Navy. And once again, here comes the BC punt team. Surprised by Navy's defense being able to get the type of pass pressure against their quarterback. Once again, they're going to the little quick play. Walker trying to pick up a first down. May have been a late hit there, folks. Gary Lane, number one, the strong safety. Malecki's punt. Will it hang? Do they stop it? They do. Well done at the five-yard line, maybe the six. Good job by Boston College. Ryan Birch, number 96, was there. Along with number 59, Brooke Heald, a 34-yard punt. Beautiful setting here. Not quite a sellout, but real close to it. 40,000 plus here at Alumni Stadium in Boston College. It doesn't get much better than this on a Saturday afternoon in football. Right here at BC Alumni Stadium. Leaves are turning. And beat it. Second time maybe started from its own six. And not much room to work there. Chris Hovan made the tackle. Matt Harden carried for Navy. Chris Hovan's quite a football player. Uh, I enjoyed meeting with him yesterday. Terrence Anderson, the center for Navy. He's one of those guys that's kind of annoying. He likes to, to get down low and crab. Defensive linemen don't like, you know, offensive linemen down on their legs. Interesting matchup this afternoon. So that works out here. Broadwater throws outside. Got a man there. Completes it up close to the 15-yard line. That's Travis Williams. Brian May knocks him down. Gain of six on that play. First catch of the day for Williams gives him six on the season. North Davidson High School in Lexington, North Carolina. Right up the street from where I'm from, baby. There you go. Right outside of Greensboro. Right? They got a lot of good barbecue there, huh? <laughs> Third down and short for Navy. Pitch it outside. Got a good block. Got the first down. Boy, the execution on that play was outstanding. Vereen again on the carry. A couple of good blocks in the backfield. And how about the misdirection? Broadwood was going all kinds of directions. And that's the key to this offense. It's misdirection, people going in different directions. The thing you will notice, uh, number 33, Jason Wolf, blocking downfield. Look at all the, the look people around the ankles, cutting people. They're always trying to get the defenders off their feet. Broadwater is the key running that option. That was a good block by Jason Wolf. No doubt about it. 43-year-old Charlie Weatherby. His club 
Trying to go to the length of the field again. Final seconds here. First quarter may be up by a field goal. Broadway. Heck of a play. He cut back into the pursuit. Picks up four yards. Pretty nifty. George White, number 40, was there. I'll tell you what, defending this option is murder. And you don't get to see it every week. That's the big key. Maybe looking pretty good here. George White, one of the real good defensive backs in the Big East Conference. He will hit you. Right now, his BC Eagles are trailing Navy by the count of 3 nothing. Second half action straight ahead. <laughs> Historic Boston Harbor. It's old Ironsides, the USS Constitution. The men who manned that ship would be proud of the efforts of the Naval Academy this afternoon as we start the second quarter here at Chestnut Hill, Mass. Navy leading 3 nothing, And again, trying to drive the long field. And how about Broadwater on that? He made sure Dingle did not fumble that ball. That was precarious, to say the least. Yesterday, we spoke with Navy coach Charlie Weatherby, asked him to give us a description of his spread offense. The spread offense is a run and shoot passing attack with the triple option and double option attack in there. We run 19 different formations. We run several different motions. And uh, we do a lot of different things that, uh, that people probably hadn't seen. Uh, if they have, they haven't seen them in a while. Agreed on that. And Broadwater, not comfortable with what has been presented to him by the BC defense, calls a timeout. That's number two. So Navy with one timeout remaining for the rest of this uh, first half. Take a look at our first quarter stats brought to you by the folks at Buick. Total yards, Navy with a big edge. Navy with a big edge, the big run by uh, John Vereen. You know, 101 yards of total offense. Uh, if you put four quarters together like that, you've got 400 yards of offense. And that's what this Navy team's looking at. Gaining yards, first downs, and the big key, right here. Third you know, down, Third sure. down conversions, they're three for five. BC 0 for three, and it gets back to the quarterback. Broadwater's making plays on third down, and thus far, Mutrin is not. Mutrin, five of eight for 46 yards. Broadwater, two for two passing. He's got four carries, four yards. Been pretty efficient running the offense. And BC's head coach, Tom O'Brien, probably would not say this to you publicly, but I know this game means more to him because of his ties to the Naval Academy, being there as a player for three years and, and later as an assistant coach. This is a quality man right there. Indeed. Here we go. We see a lot of unbalanced line today as well from the Naval Academy. Here's Broadwater going to throw outside. Got a man at Reed up to the 34-yard line. Ryan Reed. Coverage on the play on that nine-yard gain by Dewan Daniels. And Dewan Daniels is forced into the starting lineup. When you talk about the BC defense, they are very thin in the secondary right now. DJ Sutton, their starting cornerback, is out. Thus, Dwan Daniels gets the start at left corner. A lot of cushion right there. Ryan Reed runs about a seven-yard pattern, gets the first down. First down here is Broadwater to the 39. He's got some nice speed. Picks up five. George White prevented it. Further damage for BC. Frank Chamberlain there as well. And yesterday, talking to uh, Charlie Weatherby, he said that Broadwater runs about a 4-6-40. Uh, that's a lot of speed at the quarterback position. Athletic guy, though. That's the big key. Uh, you know, when you you're a safety, you're a place kicker, and you come to Navy, you do all those type of things. It tells you about your athleticism. Now he's running a very complex offense. Colgate can tell you about his speed. 61 yards with 61 seconds to go as they run Dingle up the middle. Last week, Broadwater put that game away. 61 seconds to go. And that ended a 99-yard drive. So Navy's used to going the length of the field. And for the BC defense, it's about patience. It takes a while to really figure out what this offense is doing. You don't see it very often. And you try and you know simulate that in practice. You have to be patient. And the thing about it, you have to be disciplined. Third down, long two. 
42-yard line. Broadwater rolling out. Got a man wide open down the field. Didn't see him. Nice play by Dewan Daniels. He had Mark Hill running free downfield. And Daniels came in on the blitz. Lost of three yards on that play. Tim Rose calls a corner blitz. Number 32, Dewan Daniels comes off the corner. Broadwater acts as if he doesn't see him until the last second. Right there, he realized, whoa, we've got a corner coming. Safety George White goes over to cover the receiver. Big play on third down. Sure was. Mark Hill running a streak down the right sideline. Trey Callis on for the punt. At time. Oh, he got into that one nicely. Jermaine Walker sees it go out of bounds at the nine yard line. Nicely done by Trey Callish. That punt covered 53 yards as we look at Dewan Daniels. Big sack on the blitz. But BC's offense in a deep hole right now. BC will start at its own nine yard line when we come back. Navy with a 3 0 lead here at Chestnut Hill. Second quarter action. Welcome back here to Alumni Stadium. Big East Football Conference Game of the Week. Navy and Boston College. Midshipman lead it by a field goal. And BC about to take the field. They're going to start from their own nine yard line, trailing by a field goal. Three zip. And it's awfully early in the game for, for there to be a key possession early. With this BC offense backed up this much, put the onus on this offensive line. Big physical offensive line and Mike Cloud. They average 6'4", 306 on that offensive line. Here's Cloud slashing through. Boy, runs over a couple of people. Boffermeyer got knocked down. It was bad enough he was already being uh, hit by Ryan Utzler and then here comes Cloud to put a lick on him. Adam Cretion comes in to make the stop and how about Rutgers hanging in there with Tulane and how about Northwestern same with Ohio State in the Big Ten. That's a surprise. Big 12 matchup Georgia Kentucky down in the southeast. 100 yards even for Mike Cloud. A thousand yards rather a thousand yards even. That's on this season. Utrecht. Deep ball. Sideline. Walker had it and dropped it at the 42. Enrico Walker, or Enrico Hunter covering for Navy. Jermaine Walker. Averaging almost 14 yards a catch. That would have helped the average big time. If he were able to contain this ball and catch it, they would have called him the Say Hey Kid. It would have been a tough catch. The other thing, he's looking back into a very bright sun. At Alumni Stadium, if you're going and facing that sun, it's blinding. That's probably why Hovan wears all that uh, <laughs> yeah, face right. makeup. <laughs> down at four. Ball's at the 16-yard line. Mucci gonna throw again. Outside, first down yard is on the completion to the 22-yard line. That's Dedrick DeWalt, his second catch of the afternoon. Brad Shatlos, number 32, middle linebacker. Mike Cloud, impressive statistics as he gets over the vaunted 1,000 yard mark how about that for in, the season. How about in the preseason when he said, I want to rush for 2,000 yards? Oh, well, <laughs> great. I got to like his chance. He's, at eight, he's on pace for about 1,800 right now. First and 10 for BC. Cloud. Helping his average right there, caught from behind. Adam Cretion brings him down. Adam's got a brother, Gabe, who's a redshirt tight end at UCLA. Speaking to his mom and dad yesterday, along with the uh, Chatlos family. What nice people. And, and I remember my uh, parents coming, and I had a brother that played at Clemson that was a year older than I was, and my parents were at every game. And that means a lot to young kids. Yeah, no question. Second down situation. 28 yard line. Play action. Blitz from the corner. Mutrin hangs in. He's got Harding down there. Oh, he lays out and he can't make the catch at the 40. Had the double coverage beaten. Nice throw by Mutrin. Mike Weedle, one of the defenders there for Navy. Who's looking, Mike?
Dutrin laid it out nicely. BC one for four on third down situation. BC on the season, 44% conversion on third down. Utrecht step, throw, got a man. And that should be good for first down. Derek Crittenden, his first catch of the afternoon, just the second of the season. Christian again on the tackle. It'll be a first down for Boston College. And you never know early in a game, you know, some quarterbacks get so excited that they, they kind of throw the ball away, the ball floats on them a little bit. The last three or four throws from uh, Scott Mutrin, he's looked like a different quarterback. Uh, you know, the ball's right off of Walker's hand. The ball is right off Dennis Harding's hands. It looks like he's calming down and, you know, starting to settle into a group. From the 34-yard line, Cloud. He runs hard. How about the block by Brzezinski? Did you see 74 fly through there? My goodness. And let's go down the sidelines and John Sanders. And Dave, it's bad news for an already beaten up defensive unit for the Eagles because Brian May, number 46, has a strained right groin, probably will not play the rest of this first half. They'll reevaluate him at second half. His status is doubtful. It seems that the ESPN spotlight jinx has struck again. I'm telling you, John, it's amazing. If you want to get out of a game, <laughs> tell us to highlight you as a spotlight player, and you're out. Man, this is worse than the SI cover jinx a few years ago. Dutrin from the shotgun on this second down and long. Completed outside, and he's in a rhythm now. Dennis Harding with the catch up to midfield. Christian and Weedle getting a lot of action in that Navy secondary. Starts with Mike Cloud running the football. Now it seems like the offensive line is starting to get a little grip on uh, Navy. Scott Mutrin's a different quarterback than we saw the first two series of the game. And the thing about it, Mike Weedle, the left cornerback, they're going to find him this afternoon. They like that matchup. 13-yard pickup. This is a, a drive that started at the Boston College 9, right now at the Navy 49. Wow, good cut right up the middle. Boy, that was something, wasn't it? Inside the 45 to the 43. Good thing Gary Lane was there because we we're looking at maybe another 20, 30 yards, if not pay dirt. That big left side, Darnell Alford, six foot four, 323. Doug Brzezinski, who I think will be a number one draft pick. Watch the size of this hole. You're Mike Cloud. You could drive a truck through that hole. Damian Woody got a good one too. And this is the type of offense I was really looking for from BC. And, and we used to call this a bludgeoning with a dull instrument. That's what you want to do this afternoon. I think the boy's a little warmed up. Here we go again, Cloud. For about three to the 41. Nothing like getting the offensive lineman fired up. Boys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to hammer. Well, going into the game, Tom O'Brien probably says to his offensive line, hey, guys, you're 50 pounds heavier than your opponent. We're going to give the ball back to Mike Cloud 30 or 35 times. You know what? Loosen up your belts, tighten your chin straps, and let's play football. Tell you what, BC now coming up to the line of scrimmage with a lot more snap. Third and short. Now they run the option. Neutron going to be awfully close. I don't think he made it. Though. I was looking for him to pitch it back. Ryan Hamilton, 58. The tackle for Navy. Help from Daryl Hill, number 55. He's short. Probably about a foot. And about 35, 40,000 coaches telling Tom O'Brien, my man, you got to go for it. Yeah, but the thing about it, the people sitting in the stands, <laughs> if they don't convert it on fourth down, they don't get fired. That's exactly right. This is the Big East Football Conference Game of the Week, and now they're booing. I'm Dave Sims with Jeff Bostick and John Sanders. And BC calls a timeout. 7.32 to go. Second quarter, Tom O'Brien and the BC Eagles down 3 nothing. Navy put on a good-looking drive in the first quarter. Vanderhorst with a 31-yard field goal for that 3-0 lead. And not only the 44,000 people, the 11 players are telling Tom O'Brien to go for it now, too. And most of them on the offensive line. Navy up by three when we come back. Good look at downtown Boston from the Cambridge area. Beautiful, beautiful day here in the Boston metropolitan area. 
We're at Chestnut Hill, Mass, and a big play coming up here. Fourth down and about a yard. Boston College will go for it. They have to get to the Navy 39. Follow your left guard, Beast. Doug, Doug Brzezinski. Get in between him and Damian Woody and this quarterback sneak and then move the chains. All right, BC, one of six and fourth down conversions this year. Everybody in tight. Neutron. Try to draw him offside. Hutzler in motion. Cloud gets the call, breaks it. First down and more. And he wins the wrestling match, too. How about little Weedle? Mike Weedle got up in his chest. He lost the battle, but I tell you what, made his presence known on that one. First down, Mike Cloud, a gain of five. Good job by the tight ends, sealing the edge. Watch right here. Watch the edge of your screen, Zakakis. Number 48, Utzler with a key block. Right here, right there it is. Number 82, clear block. Watch the power that Mike Cloud brings to the, oh, yeah. brings to the table. <laughs> Can you say headache? Back to live action, little play action. Neutron, home run ball, going for the postman. He's there, touchdown, he dropped it. He dropped it. Jermaine Walker was right there. David Alexander covering for Navy. Scott Mutrin saying, Billy Kilmer, where are you? The ball was hung up in the air. Walker is waiting for it. Another one of those opportunities. We saw it early in the game with Navy's Brian Broadwater. If he would have thrown the ball a little bit deeper, a little quicker, it's a touchdown. Oh, yeah. He Jermaine Walker is waiting for the ball in the end zone. It still goes between his hands. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Had about a four-step separation, then he had to come back for it. Draw play, Cloud, big hole, right side. Great move, Porter, he's gone. The touchdown, Boston College. Great move, 36 yards on the scoring run by Mike Cloud. Touchdown number 10 for Mike on the season. An electrifying running back, to say the least. He has shown that he can run with power inside. Watch his feet. His feet are always moving. Open field, uh-uh, you're not gonna tackle me. Once he gets to the edge, he's gone. Adam Christian had no chance on that one. Point after is good by John Maddich. He continues his perfect season at 21 for 21. From Mike Cloud. Concludes a very nice drive, 91 yards for Boston College to take the lead. Second quarter, 6.49 to go, and that is a thing of beauty. That footwork by Mike Cloud, BC on top, 7-3. Student section, a lot of youngsters pretty fired up with Boston College taking a 7-0 lead. As we look at Brian May, he's the focus of our ESPN Plus spotlight. And Brian's done for the day, but look at that. You talk about a lot of respect, draws a double team. And unfortunately, here's the play where 46, Brian May goes down with a groin injury. One of the offensive linemen, they're gonna try to get him back, but it's doubtful. And he has had his share of injuries. Oh. Six year senior. It's like Animal House, eight years down the <laughs> tube, <right>. right? <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, those of you who've seen that movie a dozen or so times, this is the 20th anniversary of that movie. Can that, you believe that? That is a classic movie. 14 plays, 90 yards. Cloud 36 yards out with the score. And that ball goes out of bounds. Maybe we'll get the ball up to 35. Now, if you're a head coach and, and the kicker comes off the field, the field is 54 yards wide. <laughs> Just kick the ball. You know, the ball is tiny, right? Just kick it somewhere between those white markers. The coach ought to be able to absolutely go up and start choking a kicker. You know, he's not going to go out on the field but six or eight times a game. <laughs> Been known to happen. Now watch, the kicker will go all the way down to the other end. See? How about a Tulane? 17-0 over Rutgers. A lot of scoring going on at Piscataway. Ohio State starting to put some distance between themselves. Kentucky. Leading Georgia. Let's see what the Navy response is. Trailing now, 7 3. Broadwater keeps it. Oh, he probably wishes he could have dealt it off. Brooke healed at number 59. Unloaded. Mike Willits there as well. Brooke healed, junior out of Sudbury, Mass. 
along with a little bit of help from Andy Romanowski. Uh, no relation to Bill Romanowski, who played here. If you're the quarterback, uh, tomorrow morning when you wake up, you'll fill every one of these hits. You can hear it all the way up here. Broadwater, seven carries, five yards. He lost the yard on that one. They show blitz, get it to the edge. Tough throw, tougher catch. Incomplete. Not Try to the, get it to Matt O'Donnell. Not the type of situations that Navy really thrives on offensively. Third down and 10, 11 yards. They like it when it's third and two or three. Then they have their entire offensive package. They're not known for throwing the football. They're number one in the nation running it. That's where they make their living. Third and long. Straight drop. He's three for four. Sideline ball right through the hands of O'Donnell, who should have made it. The junior out of Glenelg, Maryland. And BC is going to get the ball back quickly. Let's go to John Sanders. If you take a look at the back of the Navy helmets, you'll notice the initials JM. Those are in memory of Jason McCray. This season is dedicated to him. He was going to come back as a starter on the defensive line. He was working out in the gym, playing some basketball to get ready for the season. He collapsed and later died of a heart attack, and the Academy has dedicated this football season to his memory. David? Thank you, John. These are always tough for any team. This punt is just ripped by Kelly. Williams, and down he goes at the 20-yard line. Check out Walker. And a good tackle by David Alexander, a sophomore out of Lorton, Virginia. So Boston College takes over after the 49-yard punt. They'll do so from their own 20-yard line. BC with a 7-3 lead in that offensive line, anxious to get back. Welcome back to Alumni Stadium. Campus of Boston College University. Tim Rose, the defensive coordinator. Says you got to reduce your defenses this week. And each defensive thought's got to be about the option. Meanwhile, on the offensive unit, Scott Yuki throws and underthrows his tight end. Rob Tardio makes the catch. But a, not much of a gain. And Tardio is 17th catch of the season. And you know, always before a game, I try and think in my mind how this game is going to be played out. I was looking for a high scoring affair. The big key for this afternoon has been field position. Yes, it has. Mike Cloud, 58 yards on the last drive by BC. His first touch here in this drive does well to get across the 25 to the 26. Took a couple of real good sticks from Adam Cretion and Gary Lane. Look at Adam. And how about it? checking those elbows? When you play on this dog on uh, artificial turf, your elbows just get whipped. And I was visiting with some of the BC guys uh, yesterday, and all of them, carpet, we call them rug burns. Uh, this is like taking a razor knife and cutting your arms open, and this is a brand new turf. So this is even more extreme than the old worn out ones. BC two for six on third down. This is a third down and five, reaching from the gun. Got some time, now flush. Still looking. Going to take it down. Got a block from Tardio. He's got the first down. Oh, he's got to slot a little quicker than that. Gary Lane got up on him quickly. And no surprise that Mutrin's getting up slowly. And Mutrin, the only thing you need to do as a quarterback is convert the first down. You've, you've got to know where the first down marker is. Plenty of time. Good job by this offensive line picking up the blitz. He decides to get out of the pocket. Okay, Scott, we've got the first down. Get down. Get down. All the oh. way down. No. Gary Lane, the strong safety, applying the hit. Gary, keep your head up. You'll hurt your neck that way. First, uh, first down at the 35. Cloud ran into his own blocker. Brzezinski threw a good one, and Cloud was able to bounce it outside. Enrico Hunter gets him out of bounds. Heck of a play there. you got to like the, the speed of Brzezinski. I can see why you were a 14-year NFL player. 3-4 Super Bowls. I see why you like uh, Brzezinski, because he gets out cleanly and really hammers people. And I was talking to some of the scouts upstairs. There's a, a scout from the Carolina Panthers. There's a scout from the Philadelphia Eagles. And you know, they're here looking at, uh, obviously, Brzezinski. But number 21 is going to draw a lot of praise. Uh, Mike Cloud, 
his stock has really gone up the last year and a half. And, and like we said earlier, he played behind the shadow of Amari Walker for a long time. Which Palazzo now in at center as Cloud is a 105-yard tip ball. And a good play by Navy. Matt Dano. Dano out of Center Harbor, New Hampshire. Junior number 47 with the tip. It doesn't take much to deflect the ball. Went off the top of his head, it almost looked like. Dano, one of the... Uh, if you look at the Navy squad, they've got some of the all-time name pronunciation kids in the nation. And they've got them from New Mexico. They've got them from California, Michigan. They're all over the nation. Quality young men, though. Second down and 10 from the 45. Cloud made something out of nothing, gets up to the 50. Pretty quick feet. Picks up five. Jamie Doffermeyer there. What do you think about him at the next level? I know everybody's going to be looking at him. He's certainly going to be drafted. Can he impact? Well, I think he can impact. I think the thing that you see is when he gets into a hole and, and once he makes his decision, he has that quick burst. Not a lot of running backs have it. Mike Cloud has proven this season he can run between the tackles. That would probably be the biggest knock. And he's added about 10 or 15 pounds in, in muscle during the offseason. Well, yeah, no question. Very dedicated in the weight room. Third and five out of the shotgun. The shovel pass is Cloud. First down and more. Loose ball, though. Loose ball. Let's see. Ball popped out. And you want to talk about a battle down at the bottom of that pile? I've been in some of those, and, and the officials will let you go. It's like a uh, that's free for all. Navy takes over. And that's the fourth lost fumble on the season for Boston College. BC's offensive coordinator, Jeff Jagosinski. He's going into his bag of tricks. You know what? This is a little shuttle pass. Mike Cloud, open running room. Yep, gets the block from Tardio right Good there. Stick. Good stick by Brad Chatlos, number 32. Chatlos puts the helmet on the football. Watch number 74. Doug Brzezinski, get out of my way. The big man tipping the scales at about 305 pounds. That's what they list them at. We're in midseason. Let's be real. What do you figure he's really carrying? Probably 310. I saw him yesterday. He's huge. Looks good, too, right? You know what? He and Chris Hovan could go into the WCW. You know, Hovan's already got the mask. <laughs> and they're built for it. And, and we could give them some kind of name, and you could be their manager. Yeah, I don't think so. Enrico Hunter recovered the fumble for Navy. They come out throwing, and a completion to Travis Williams. Second catch of the afternoon by Travis. Across the 45 to the 47-yard line. When you look at Navy's record, two and four for the season, certainly a disappointment. The big thing for this, this Navy football team has been the turnover takeaway ratio. Last year, they were sixth best in the nation turnover takeaway ratio. This year, they're 106. Under the three-minute mark. Pass it to Vereen. Got room. Check that. That's three. Brittingham. He's a freshman out of Berlin, Maryland. George White brings him down. First carry this afternoon for Brittingham. Brittingham picks up a big block from the slot back. Jason Wolf, the senior co-captain. That's the thing that impresses you. The slot backs, the wide receivers for this Navy offense, they all block downfield, and they're all down around your knees. They're trying to get your feet off the ground. First and 10 for Navy. Broadwater. Outside option, good-looking run. He carried a player almost to the first down yardage. Carlos Moore went for a ride, but a nice run by Brian Broadwater, the sophomore from Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. John Sanders, what do you have? Coming up at halftime, we have the National Car Rental Halftime Report, and we're going to focus even closer. We've already taken a good look at Mike Cloud here during the first half, but he is our Big East feature in the second half. We'll have the National Notebook update, some ESPN USA Today, top 25 scores, all of that coming up at halftime. All right, thank you, John. We look forward to that. Coming up on two minutes to go. Run the fullback. Not a heck of a lot there, but a basic play. Irv Dingle gets the carry. First carry for Irv in a while. Navy staff is good to have him back in the lineup. He's missed the last two games due to injury. He's been the workhorse for this Navy offense this season. Picks up the first down. Seven carries, 13 yards for Dingle. 
Navy under two minutes to go, trailing 7-3. Feel a pass coming up here. Here it is. Broadwater looked for the post pattern, throws it. The guy came back, and a nice play by Ryan Reed, his second catch of the afternoon. Boy, Reed was going for the post, saw his quarterback in trouble. He came back and makes the play. That's a first down for Navy at gain of 12. And Broadwater shows something you don't often see in sophomores. You know what? He was patient with the football. He could have easily thrown it up for grabs on the post. No, he lets his receiver come back to him. Good throw, good catch. And cameraman, hang loose. <laughs> you bet. You get hazard pay on the sideline. Yeah, buddy. Broadwater, six of nine, 73 yards passing thus far. This drive started at the 39. Navy. And so much of this game is about emotion. It looked like early Navy had it. BC regained it on the long touchdown drive, the 91 yard. Now the fumble recovery by Navy's defense puts life back into the Navy offense. Sure enough, a lot of snap getting up to the line of scrimmage. Brought to this corner, and he's knocked out of bounds. No, they call it a touchdown. Travis Williams, misdirection play, and Navy regains the lead. He just got inside the pylon. Travis Williams, his first TD catch of the season for Brian Broadwater. His fourth pass, fourth TD pass of the season. And Navy with the lead. When you're the number one rushing offense in the, in the nation, the run takes precedent. Broadwater, athleticism, finds Travis Williams in the flat, stretches the ball over the pylon, touchdown for this Navy offense. Point after is banged through by Tom Vanderhorst. And Navy regains the lead here at Chestnut Hill Mass. Travis Williams, the junior from Lexington, North Carolina, on the catch with 106 to go. Navy with a 10-7 lead. Play action fake. Travis Williams in the flat. You know what? He can sense that touchdown, that goal line. He's never been there in his Navy career. That's his first ever career touchdown. Look at the effort, stretching the ball over the pylon. Touchdown, yeah, he's excited. When you don't score in your Navy career yet, and right now he's a junior, you're a little bit excited about it. Boy, if you're Willie Wright, the left linebacker for Boston College, if he's there two seconds earlier, maybe he makes the play, but Broadwater was able to get rid of the ball. Or if he gets his hands up. Yeah. Brian Broadwater, much like he did against Colgate last week, he's seven for nine. Last week he was eight for nine. 90 yards passing, one touchdown. Big day for Williams as well. Three catches, 33 yards, and a touchdown. Let's go back to John Sanders. And we are just a minute and six seconds away from the National Car Rental Halftime Report, and we'll get you started with our Big East Wire previewing some games coming up in the Big East Conference later today. We'll also have the National Notebook and the latest on the situation in Auburn. What a shocker there. All of that coming up at halftime on our National Car Rental Halftime Report. We've got a good one going, guys. Sure enough, John. Tom O'Brien concerned as well he should be. And make sure you're with us next week. Got a couple of offerings for you. West Virginia against Virginia Tech. Two top 25 ball clubs going head to head, and that is a bitter rivalry. Check your local listings. Some of you will see that one. And some of our audience will see the Pittsburgh and Syracuse matchup from the Carrier Dome. Donovan McNabb and Company. That's next Saturday, Halloween. Check your local listings. In both cases, keep the women and small children away from the screen because <laughs> yeah. it, it could get violent. Not for the squeamish. Gary Stills will be back in the lineup for West Virginia. Corey Moore and Company for Virginia Tech. The big question there uh, for Virginia Tech is Al Clark going to be healthy enough to play uh, quarterback for that uh, hokey offense? That has been a problem. Their defense has done a pretty good job for the most part, but they've had to play a lot. They've had a lot of time on the field as the offense hasn't been uh, up to its usual par. But you talk about the Big East Conference. How big a victory for Temple University last oh. week going to Blacksburg, uh, spotting the uh, Virginia Tech uh, squad 17 points and coming back to win 28-24. Uh, congratulations to Bobby Wallace and all of the staff at, at, at Temple. You knew they were going to beat somebody soon. Uh, I, I certainly didn't expect it to be uh, Virginia Tech. You're in a long line there. Vanderhorst kick to the 13-yard line. And running room for number 35, Cedric Washington. Gary Lane brings him down. 
Got some of the crowd off its feet here. 22 yard return by Washington. This is where using the timeouts earlier in the first half Killers. hurts the BC offense. They only have one timeout remaining. You're basically forced to throw the football. Last time they had the ball, it turned it over. Navy converted it into points. Tip ball again. Second time that's happened today. Number 97, Jason Snyder gets the bat. And when you look in the media guide, the one thing that really impresses me about this Navy squad, looking at some of the different majors that these kids are taking. You know, Jason Snyder is one of the uh, senior co-captains. His major, ocean engineering. I don't even know what ocean engineering is. <laughs> don't want to take a stab at that one. They second down to 10, pressure. Snyder trying to run down Nutri, taking a nice angle, shoves him out of bounds. That's a nice play by Jason Snyder. He took the proper angle and chased Mutrin out of bounds. Well done. I was talking to some of the people from Navy. I said, what is ocean engineering? I said, it's when you try to build a, uh, an ocean or something. I thought they were all built. <laughs> and I was informed, I was informed that they can build platforms out in the ocean and you know, all those good things that we benefit from. And thank you so much to all those folks who involved themselves in that endeavor. I'm glad there are people that are that smart. <laughs> You'll be both third and real long for BC. Mutual, flanker screen, Walker. 40, 45, 50. Sideline out of bounds. Big game. And finally, David Alexander gets him out of bounds after a 23-yard gain. Well-conceived play. Boston College's offensive coordinator right there. The quick cut, there's a wave of blockers. 63, Damian Woody, Brzezinski downfield blocking. Jermaine Walker has breakaway speed and shows it. BC trying to mount a comeback here. 38 seconds ago, Mutri throwing. Nice pass on that one. Good zip to DeCosmo, his second catch this afternoon. No duck in that throw. Nineteen yard pickup. Simple little out pattern. Number one, he catches the football. Secondly, he gets out of bounds and stops the clock. Good looking gain down to the twenty three yard line. Blitz. They pick it up outside to Walt. Nice catch. To the eleven yard line. Twelve yard pickup. Good looking two minute drill by Scott Mutrin. Scott Mutrin, up and down season, very solid in this first half. DeWalt, number 14, once again making the big catch, getting out of bounds. Now your offense has an opportunity where you can run the ball. You still have 28 seconds and a timeout. Third catch for DeWalt. Mike Cloud's got a back contusion as they throw in the end zone. Tardio's there, but out of bounds. Mike Cloud has a back contusion. He's expected to return, but that is not good news. The fact that they have to play this series without Mike Cloud. Somebody was wrong for the BC, for the BC offense. Watch the top left portion of your screen. Right there, hold it right there. Right there, number 16, Rob Tardio. Also down here, number 14, DeWalt. Somebody ran the wrong route, and you saw him talking about it on the way back. Back to live action, fade, touchdown to Cosmo. Now they wave it off. They wave it off. They say he did not have the one foot inbounds, and DeCosmo can't believe it. Did not have possession. Was bobbling the ball. And DeCosmo thought he had his fourth touchdown of the season. Mutrin hangs the ball up in the air. DeCosmo. This is an opportunity he'd like to have back. Trying to keep his feet in bounds. Number three, Enrico Hunter. Gets his left arm in right there. Right arm in right there. Bats the ball away. It's not as much of what happened to DeCosmo. Good play by Hunter. BC, four of eight on third down situations. They roll the pocket. Newton in the end zone. Touchdown! Jermaine Walker. His second TD of the season, and BC regains the lead with 12 seconds to go.
Jermaine Walker is open. David Alexander, number 28, trying to cover on this play. This is a no-no right here. You've got to turn around and find the football. David Alexander, clueless where the football is. Jermaine Walker hauls it in and gives BC the lead again. And it's point after. And he can mark it up. So BC, an impressive two-minute drill. 12 seconds to go. And BC, and Jermaine Walker, four catches on the day, 50 yards and a touch. BC back on top. 14-10. And for the team that leads the nation in running, they score via touchdown through the air. BC, a team that relies on Mike Cloud, who's ailing a little bit in this game. Once again, going through the air to Jermaine Walker. Close contest all afternoon, just as we expected. Once again, Scott Mutrin rolling the pocket to buy time. He delivers a strike. This ball is right on the money. Defensive backs, David Alexander. You have to turn around and see where the ball is coming from. Tell you what, Mutrin threw the ball with, you know, a lot of accuracy, and he had some good zip on the ball. No floaters. Charlie Weatherby wondering if his club can get back on the board with 12 seconds to go here. In the first half. And just when we finished uh, meeting with Charlie Weatherby yesterday, just before he left to get on the team bus and head back to the hotel, the one question he asked me, is John Riggins as uh, loony as we think he is? <laughs> so I had to tell him a couple of Riggins stories, which he, he thought were you know somewhat hilarious. Well, he, you know, he was asking about Riggins because he's from Sedan, Kansas. Yeah. I, Charlie I is in uh, Rigo. He's also from Lawrence, Great. Kansas. That's it. There is one John Riggins. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> hey, help me get a couple of rings. There's Max the kickoff and a couple of headaches. <laughs> Ball is booted downfield by John Vereen. And Vereen, that's a nice return to the 28-yard line, leaves Navy with four seconds to go. In the first half, a return of 18 yards. Ramon Johnson, number six, brings him down. Vereen has had a lot of... Uh, upside performances here in the first half. This is Biggie's football, Navy and Boston College, non-conference game for BC. I'm Dave Sims with Jeff Bostic and John Sanders. Final four seconds here in the first half. And Navy will just yeah. take it from there. Good first half by both clubs. 30 minutes complete here at Alumni Stadium. Chestnut Hill, Mass. BC Eagles trying to end a three game losing streak. We've got a 14 10 lead over Navy. And let's go down to John Sanders standing by with Coach O'Brien. Coach O'Brien, talk about that last drive, an excellent march to get your team back in front before halftime. Well, we made some throws and catches. That's, that was the difference. Uh, we've dropped some balls, we've had guys open, we just haven't. Yeah, had some balls knocked down, too, so we just threw and caught it better that last drive. Good shot on Mike Cloud. What's his status now for the second half? Do you know? Uh, I don't know right now. All right, good luck in the second half. Head coach Tom O'Brien, the Boston College Eagles, coming back in the closing seconds to take the halftime lead 14 to 10. We've got the National Car Rental Halftime Report coming up from Boston College right after this. Today's game is being brought to you by John Hancock Financial Services. Insurance for the unexpected, investments for the opportunities. Alumni Stadium here at Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. Historic Boston, very nearby as we look at some of the downtown area. Boston College with a 14-10 lead. And let's take a look at our first half highlights brought to you by the folks at John Hancock and Navy. Got on the board first. You know, Boston College has not scored first in the game since the Georgia Tech game earlier in the year. Vanderhorst with a 31-yard field goal gives uh, Navy a 3-0 lead. Boston College answers right back with who else? Number 21, Mike Lau. 35-yard run. A little bit of shake and bake. You're not going to catch him. BC takes their first lead of the game at 7-3. Well, Navy said, uh, if we're going to play tennis, let's get it back in our court. 
Broadwater to Travis Williams, a 17-yard touchdown score. Watch the second effort. Finds the pylon, gets into the end zone. His first career touchdown. And just before the half, how about Jermaine Walker, 11-yard touchdown catch. Mr. Alexander, number 28, cornerback for Navy. Turn your back around. BC takes the lead just before the end of the half, 14 to 10. And let's go down the sidelines. Uh, John Sanders standing by with Charlie Weatherby. Coach, one of the good things that happened, you got a turnover, you converted into a touchdown to take the lead, and then you gave it up in the last minute or so. Well, yeah, we've got to play a little more stingy on defense and not give up the big pass play in there. And if we do that, we go in at halftime ahead. We've got to come back out the second half. We get to football. We've got to drive it down the field, take control of this football game again. All right, Coach, good luck in the Thank second you. half. Thank Charlie you. Weatherby getting ready for the second half. All right. All right, John, thank you. And we are ready for action. John Maddich has it teed up. And here we go, second half action, and it's a good kickoff. Jason Wolf, about a yard deep, 5, 10, 15, 18 yard line, brought down by Brooke Heald, number 59. 20 yards on the return. Halftime statistics. Boston College. Rushing yardage 124 to 92 and how about total yards big edge there too. The big key though for Navy that has to believe that they can come back 6.2 yards per, per first down. That's going to be the big key the second half. See what they do on this first down. Here's Broadwater on the pitch and another big play first down for Navy across the 35 to the 36 yard line. Dewan Daniels brings him down so that'll boost that average. 17 yards on the carry. There's your first half leaders. Mutrin, strong finish to the first half. Walker got it done as well. And Broadwater, high percentage of completions. Flanker screen this time. Get it to Reed. And Reed gets close to the 45. There's a penalty flag on the play. If you're a Navy fan, you have to like what you see in this offense, and particularly the sophomore quarterback, Brian Broadwater. But if you're a Navy fan, you're not going to like the fact that they were holding on this play. But Broadwater's making plays, and, and he's running the, the perfect offense for a guy with his abilities, an athletic guy that's able to run, get on the edge, does a good job of running this offense, and, and more importantly, the option. Holding on the offense, 10 yards from the basic spot. Repeat the down. Fourth penalty of the afternoon against Navy. Charlie Weatherby a little upset there as well. He should be. Offense clicking in the first couple of plays. I think he's more in, uh, you know, upset with the officiating than he is his players. First and 20 from the 26-yard line. Pitch it outside to Vereen. Does well to turn the corner. Run out of bounds. They'll give him uh, credit to just shy of the 30-yard line. Four-yard pickup. George White ran him out of bounds. Willie Wright is there as well, number 13. Good linebacker. 6'4", 214. Senior out of Fort Lauderdale. It's amazing how often big penalties, uh, like the one Navy sustained with the holding call, stop drives. They were off to a good start in the second half. Now they're facing second down and 16. From the 30, Broadwater, down it goes. Mike Willits, number 98, got a hold and big loss there of eight yards. Young man from Alexandria, Virginia. You're talking about a student athlete. He certainly exemplifies that. He leads the team with uh, quarterback sacks with three, adds another one to his collection. Speaking of Alexandria, Virginia, our producer, Carl Paul, Paul Carlson, said there's two big football fans watching this game uh, in Washington. His wife, Pat, and his daughter, Lee. Now, I don't know if this is going to get him out on the golf course Sunday, but it may help. <laughs> Here's Broadwater. Screen back the other way to Travis Williams. He caught the TD pass. Now reverses, and that might be a good move to the 30, but he'll be way short of a first down. Gets it to the 32-yard line, but got a chance to run with the ball for a little bit. Chris Hovan, big time hustle on this play. Watch this. 
Well, he, he knew this was going to be a frustrating day for him. Here he is. Gets a hit on the quarterback. Well, the play's not over. They're still running. Yeah, he's going to get back downfield. Look who makes this tackle. You talk about what makes all Americans. It's not the first effort. It's the second and third, and he shows that on this play. Trey Kalish gets into this one. 27-yard on loose ball. Walker ahead, and now he's all the way back to his 15. He's in trouble, and he'll go down right there at the 20-yard line. That's a costly play for Jermaine Walker. And Kalish, what a first half he had, averaging 52.7 yards on his first half punts. That one went for 45 yards. Hovan's makeup still hanging in there, Jeff. 12-29 to go. Somewhat third quarter. scary, isn't it? <laughs> Four-point lead for BC. <laughs> Back here at Boston College, let's go to the sidelines. And John Sanders, what do you have, John? I just made my way back from behind the Boston College bench. I had a chance to speak briefly with Mike Cloud. He says, I'm all right. I'll be out there. I'm ready to go here in the second half. David? That is good news, John. Cloud, 15 carries, 111 yards, and one touchdown in the first half. This drive from the 19 is where they'll get underway. Neutron blitz. They pick it up, and Neutron had all day. Got it to Rob Tardio. That's a first down to the 32-yard line for Boston College. Adam Creation and Gary Lane, the safeties, come up. 12-yard gain for Tardio. Scott Neutron, the fifth-year senior, comes out passing the ball. Mr. Mutrin received his bachelor's degree from the College of Arts and Sciences in May, and he's pursuing his master's degree in uh, business administration. There's a good one. First and 10 for Mutrin and BC. They draw, here's Cloud, big hole. Boy, just a matter which one he wanted to pick. To the 49, first down, Boston College. Umpire was in the way, Enrico Hunter, Ryan Hamilton there. Make the stop for Navy, 17 yards to the pickup for Mike Cloud. This mammoth offensive line for Boston College opening up a huge hole. The umpire gets in the way. Guess what? He's getting out of the way. Mike Cloud, the officials are smart. They don't want to get hit. No. Mike Cloud shows a lot of guts. He took a shot in the back. He's back in the lineup. Big game there for Mike. Ball just on the other side of the Navy side of the 50. Blitz from the corner. Blitz from both corners. Mutrin throws it. And it's headed in the direction of Harding incomplete. Mutrin took a lick, too. They brought both corners that time, did Navy? The pressure's being applied by number 98, Gino Marchetti. That's a pretty infamous name. They're bringing the corner blitz. Number 98, Marchetti, breaks through. West Springfield High School. Father went to the Naval Academy. Throws Mr. Mutrin to the turf. Distant cousin of the Colts, the Baltimore Colts, Gino Marchetti. Of course, uh, Marchetti's, this Gino Marchetti, his given name is Michael, but you got a Marchetti in the club, and he's playing defensive end. you got to call him Gino. Second down play, little play action. Neutron in trouble. Got rid of it. And they're going to say it's an incomplete pass. Good pressure by uh, Barani Nettles. 6-2 freshman out of Los Angeles, number 95. He's a heck of a story, too. Had to take the bus, what, 90 minutes a day to uh, high school? Taking, Amazing. Taking a bus to high school 90 minutes each way adds new meaning to the fact that if your mom and dad say, Mr. Nettles, don't miss the bus. <laughs> when you saw that uh, scrape on his elbow, we were talking about that earlier in it, what the artificial turf can do. BC, five of nine on third down situations. They could use one here, conversion. Mutrin steps in, throws, delivers, and it's complete to DeWalt. I don't think they'll give him credit. Let's see. It's, going, it's real close. Indeed, he is going to be short. So another case of a wide out not running enough for the first down. You have to know where the yardsticks are. You have to know you have to get past the 40-yard line. DeWalt comes back. All he has to do is catch the ball and fall backward. He, he decides to let his momentum carry him back across. BC goes for it on fourth and one. See what Neutron and BC can do here. Fourth and short. Neutron finds a hole and gets it and then some. First down, BC. Earlier in the game, we saw Scott Mutrin rolling out of the pocket, getting upfield, gaining a first down. Wasn't quite intelligent enough to get down early. On fourth down and one, it's pretty easy. Get behind Damian Woody and Doug Brzezinski, that left guard, 
in my opinion, a first round draft pick uh, in the draft in May. First down for Boston College. They are now two for two on fourth down situations. Neutron looking to his left at Walker and Hardy. Give it to Cloud. Finds a room, a little bit of room. Brad Chatlos brings him down. Middle linebacker. And here in the second half of our game, our ESPN Plus Spotlight, we'll focus on Jamie Doffermeyer. We'll follow him, the leading tackler, coming into today's game by a wide margin of 20 over uh, Gary Lane, the strong safety. Jamie's pretty active. But will the spotlight curse continue? Let's hope not. Second down. Cloud strung out nicely. Give credit to Gino Marchetti. Number 98. Did a nice job there. A running back comparison. These are the two main ball carriers for these respective clubs. And boy, Cloud, 127 yards. Well, basically, there is no comparison between Dingle and Mike Cloud this afternoon. You see the numbers for uh, Dingle, two yards per carry. Mike Cloud, a huge day, 127 on the ground. Third and 11 from the 40. Blitz is picked up. Utrecht steps in. Got a man over the middle. And it's complete for a first down to Dennis Harding. And Hardy, Harding is disappointed that he couldn't keep his feet. Picks up 18 yards on the play to match his number. But he knew that he may have been able to score had he been able to stay on his feet. Young man from Baltimore, Maryland, Lake Clifton Eastern High School. Runs a little four route. We call that a four route, Dave. Catches the ball. Certainly would like to have that back. Could have taken that thing right down the middle of the field and down the sideline and scored. Graduated with a B.A. degree in 98. He's enrolled trying to get a second major now. Good student. Seven catches, 31 yards for Harding. 22 on that last one. Cloud up the middle. Cloud inside the 15 to the 12. That's good four. Certainly close to another first down for BC. Gary Lane prevented a touchdown. Can you be? A, can you even imagine being a member of the uh, press media and, and the television crews here in Boston just before the start of the regular season? As we see Mike Cloud once again gaining big yards. And you have to give a lot of credit to this offensive line. Damian Woody, Brzezinski, Dan Collins, Zakakis, Alford, they're doing a good job up front. When Mike Cloud comes out and says, I'm going to rush for 2,000 yards. Cloud, left side. He's going to go. Touchdown, Boston College, but there is a penalty flag on the play. Touchdown, Mike Cloud, but let's see if it'll stand up. And they will bring it back. Tom O'Brien sees six taken off the board. Had to be right at the point of attack, right? I don't want to point fingers, but typically it's the guy on the end of the line of scrimmage. Tardio, Utzler, one of the fullbacks, maybe. Holding on the offense, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Repeat second down. Anytime a side judge throws the, the flag, it's typically holding. And the easiest place that they can watch is the tight end or maybe a fullback coming out of the backfield. Anytime you get your hands outside the jersey of your opponent. Easy to see. And they will always call holding, regardless if you're holding or not. Penalty story right there. So this is now a second down and 12 from the 24. And Cedric Washington, he breaks some tackles. He's inside the 20. The 17-yard line. Adam Christian and Gary Lane there again for Navy. Seven-yard pickup by Washington, who backs up Mike Cloud. If you're Charlie Weatherby in the Navy staff right now, you have to be thinking if you're defensive, this is a big down. Oh yeah. You're down by uh, you know four points. Keep BC from from converting this touchdown. Force them to kick a field goal. You're still in this football game. Third and five, blitz, picked up, throw, and DeCosmos got it at the 10-yard line. And that's good for a first down. It'll be first and goal for Boston College. Seven-yard pickup. Anthony DeCosmo, the senior receiver, 6'3", 209. Scott Mutrin throws the ball a little bit short. 
the Cosmo gets both arms under the ball. Good camera work, guys. Clearly shows he's got the ball in possession and another first down for BC. Three catches, 55 yards for Anthony DeCosmo out of Fairlawn, New Jersey. You see those sleeves that he's wearing. That what that's what will prevent your elbow from getting beaten up on this turf. First and goal from the nine. Cloud is back and caught from behind. Nice play by Jamie Doffermeyer. Out of town, scores in Tulane. Tommy Bowden's club up big. Ohio State running on top of Northwestern. And in the Big 12, your score, Missouri, 13-6 over Nebraska at the half. Good one in the SEC. Loss of three on that last play. Second and 12. Hit that second and goal from the 12. Cloud, big running room right up the middle. Touchdown, Boston College. Mike Cloud, his second TD of the afternoon. 12 yards out. And Boston College is doubled up on Navy, 20 to 10. Mike Cloud gets credit for the touchdown. Credit should go to this offensive line. On this play, number 73, Dan Collins, the right guard. Pulling, trapping, kicking out. Huge hole. Dan Collins, you're talking about the bloodline. Matt Cavanaugh is his uncle, former Pittsburgh uh, Panther quarterback. Manages point after is good. So with 6.08 to go, third quarter, Mike Cloud having a big day against the Naval Academy. His second score extends Boston College's lead to 21 to 10. We'll be right back. Monument at Bunker Hill, Colonel John Prescott, first casualty there, an African-American, Crispus Attucks. Not far from Boston here, 21-10. Boston College, Mike Cloud having a great day. Right there, number 73, Dan Collins. Key trap, number 95, Barani Nettles. Look at this hole, right here. Look at this hole, folks. Woo. Good job by number 66, Paul Zukakis. I don't care what level of running back you are. If you get a hold that big, you're going to score. Mike mm -hmm. Cloud made it look easy for the day. 21 carries, 147 yards, and two touchdowns. Got to like that seven yards of pop. Here's Maddich on the kickoff. Navy needs a response. Wolf from about the three. Now he's going to throw it across field. The catch is made by Vereen. 10, 15, 20. Got a block on the corner. 30, 35. Outstanding execution by the midshipman to the 39-yard line. Haven't seen that play since he did it back in the streets of Philadelphia. <laughs> Charlie Weatherby and his staff are one of the most entertaining teams to watch in college football. Regardless of score, against West Virginia, they start the game with an onside kick and recover it. Well, Jason Wolf runs it up, throws it across field. You know what? It's just like you said, Dave. This is playground football. And it's fun to watch. No doubt about it. 29 yards on the return by Vereen. Here's Broadwater. He's going to throw. High percentage guy. He's got a man there. And incomplete to Ryan Reed. He had him on the post pattern. Hit him on the hands at the 20-yard line. Juwan Daniels, number 32, with George White on the coverage. Almost a big play for this Navy offense. Brian Broadwater, that's a very impressive throw from the young man. Ryan Reed goes up, beats Mr. Daniels, basically closing the ground, breaks it up. Big play for BC's defense. Pull back. Pull back up the middle. Here's some of the coaches on the sideline making that call. And Dingle picks up three. Check that. That's Matt Horton, number 38. Matt coming off a huge game last week against Colgate. 98 yards on 18 carries and a touchdown. Senior out of Concord, California. Boston College up by 11. Navy trying to come back. Short hop to Mark Hill incomplete. And a three and out for Navy. This Navy offense is not built around the ability of coming back. Right now they're down 21 to 10. It's not a time to panic. 
They need a big stop by their defense on this coming series. And how about Boston College? They took 621 off of that last possession. Hunter's been having a beauty of the day. Kalish gets another one. Penalty flag. As Walker takes it from his own 18, finds him running. Penalty flag down this way. So probably do it all over. Three flags in total. Charlie Weatherby saying, hey, push them back. So two penalties against Boston College. Put them in a heck of a hole. They'll decline the offsides and they'll take the holding penalty, which is the more severe penalty. And BC will start backed up in their own end of the field. Good field position for Nagel. Offsides on the defense. That penalty is refused. During the return, there was holding by the return team. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. First down. And he wants some eggs with that dish, too? Made a <laughs> lot. <laughs> a little everything on that menu. I'm confused. I'm confused. <laughs> Take a time out. BC in a deep hole, but they lead by 11. Here at Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts, 21-10 the score. Boston College leading Navy. Just under five minutes to play, and Charlie Weatherby has BC, his Navy club, has them pinned back inside the 15. That's what they've done today. 109 leading rush team in the nation. Naval Academy got a ways to go before they can hit their average. Oh, BC's offense back on the field, starting at the 13-yard line. Cedric Washington gains a couple. George Brad Shatlos makes the tackle. I almost said George because his dad was talking to his dad George yesterday, number 32, Brad Shatlos. And dad George played on that great 1966 Michigan State Club. With Bubba Smith, George Webster, Jimmy Ray, Baba Pisa, Regis Cavender. Geez, I remember a lot of those guys against Terry Hanratty and you're Nick Eddy. You're starting to show your age. Oh, hey. Well, you know what? It's better to than not to. <laughs> <laughs> Michigan State had some great teams back in the mid and, and late 60s. 10 10 game with Notre Dame. And I played with one of those guys from Michigan State in Washington. From that group, Mr. Ron Saul, yeah. Okay, that's right. You did mention. He may have been a freshman when. Uh, when um, Illegal block below the way by the offense, half the distance from the end of the run. Repeat first down. Another penalty for Boston College. Tom O'Brien's cup really pinned back. If you're Navy, bring some kind of blitz here. I think if you're Navy, you just try and play sound defense. Right now, it's first down and 16. The big key, if they hold them here and force uh, BC to punt, you've got to believe they've got good field position. Sure. Balls at the seven yard line. Brown and Washington. Washington breaks it nicely to the 20 yard line. Cedric Washington, he's a sophomore in Holyoke, Massachusetts. He was a defensive back, then a running back in 96. Pretty good kick returner over the years. He was the Massachusetts Player of the Year and a four-year starter in high school at Holyoke High. Ran for 6,688 yards and 98 touchdowns. Oh, my goodness. Those are some serious numbers. Under four to play here at the third period. Second down and three for Scott Newton of BC. Well, Washington gets the call. Looks like he's got the first down. It's amazing as you look at this little chess match that we call football. 
the offensive coordinator for the BC team, Jeff Jagosinski. One, there's a receiver out past me. Two receivers, three receivers. Spread the field, make the Navy defense spread the field, and then try and run the football. Take the offensive line and allow them to play mano a mano up front. Navy likes to keep eight, nine people in the box to support the run. That's what they did against West Virginia. You're seeing formations spreading the field out and taking advantage of making them cover the wide receiver. Gary Lane, number one, Navy strong safety, and number two tackler just left the game. Mike Wilkins, a senior from Pensacola, Florida, number 40, is in to back him up. Draw Washington, huge hole, a foot race midfield. Navy territory to the 46. First down, BC and Washington racking up some big numbers. Christian and Baz Williams bring him down. Big game, 30 yards for Cedric Washington. The offensive line is starting to take control of the field. Brzezinski, Damian Woody, great job up front. This thing opens up right there, right there. Number 96, Ryan Birch, also number 74, Brzezinski. Cedric Washington, you know what? If you sit on the sideline, you watch uh, Mike Cloud gain yards, you say, let me get behind that offensive line. I think I can be successful. His longest run of the season. Play action. Here's Mutri. Got another good block. Got a wide open receiver downfield. Touchdown, Boston College. Jermaine Walker. 46 yards on the scoring play. Second hookup. Mutri to Walker this afternoon. When you have the ability to run the football, the safeties and corners have to respect that. Number 28, David Alexander, once again picked on by Jermaine Walker. Scott Mutrin, this is absolutely coming down the chimney. Right in stride, Jermaine Walker hauls it in. Big touchdown catch. Maddich's extra point on the money. Walker, what an afternoon he's had. Five catches, 95 yards, two scores. I tell you what. Newton under throw him on that one because he really had to slow it down. But he had such a spread between he and the uh, DB. It was not a contest. Four plays, 87 yards, just 234 off the clock. And BC up 28 to 10. And Boston College has scored 21 unanswered points. Scored just before the end of the half and very efficient here in the third quarter. Yes, they have. And we've got two beauties for you next week in our Biggie's Football Conference Game of the Week. West Virginia and Virginia Tech on Halloween. And that is one of the real bitter rivalries in the Big East. They'll be getting after each other pretty good. Check your local listings for that one. And then our, some of our other audience will see Pittsburgh and Syracuse from the Carrier Dome in Syracuse, New York. Check your local listings for both of those Big East contests. Tom O'Brien and BC with a little breathing room now over the Naval Academy. Late here in the third quarter. Everybody in Houston, what's up? Walker out of Houston, Texas, went to Willow Ridge High School. And what happens with a, with a team like BC offensively, uh, when you're playing and you're averaging 307 pounds across the front and you're playing a team that averages 259, those gains in the first half, they may be two or three yards. In the second half, third quarter, fourth quarter, they turn into eight, nine yard runs, 10 yard runs, and that's what we're seeing this afternoon. That they do. Wolf will take it at the 13. He got a nice hole. Good return, some terrific blocking as he gets it out to the 40 yard line. 28 yards on the return. We expect from Navy in terms of patience. I mean, like I said, this is not an offense geared to generally to be coming back from 18. What, what, what type of approach do you take here? Well, you have to obviously take a little bit more chances, but the big thing that's hurt this Navy offense all season long have been the turnovers. But they're going to have to put the ball up in the air to have success offensively for the rest of this game. Dingle up the middle. Not a heck of a lot doing there. Navy came into the game, top rushing team in the country. BC not bad either, 21. And 
what they've done this Three. afternoon. It's BC by a substantial margin. Broadway turns it up. Picks up about five. It'll be about a yard and a half, two yards short. Of a first down. Adam Grace, number 92, with the stop. The Navy needs a response. BC has scored on its last two possessions. Broadwater, 12 carries, 29 yards on the afternoon. The third and about one. Fullback, Dingles, got it in more. First down, Navy. He's in the BC territory at the 46. George White brought him down, number 40. The Navy's able to punch this thing into the end zone. You're, you're still in the football game, and we've seen with George, I mean, with uh, Charlie Weatherby, the one thing he's not scared to do is take chances. Oh, no question about it. I mean, he's got a he's got a bag of trick plays as big as anybody. Dingle, nine carries, 21 yards. Broadwater got his man Wolf. Nice footwork as he picks up the first down inside the 35. Really good footwork there by Jason Wolf. Willie Wright ended the play, but a 12-yard gain for Navy. So this drive's looking pretty good. Some guys are just natural football players. Number 33, Jason Wolf. He really cannot see the fact, you know, that Frank Chamberlain is, is sitting there just about to hit him, but he has that, that instinct of, of moving and getting inside, and he makes something big happen. Oh, nice job. Reed and Manny Metcalf split to the left. Broadwater to throw, good pocket. Takes it down, gonna run 30, and run out of bounds at the 26-yard line. The Navy moving efficiently downfield. Frank Chamberlain runs him out of bounds. Watch the block by the slot back, number four, John Vereen. Good job of running the play action. Key block. Get the chop on Mike Willis. Gets him off his feet. This is what Navy has to do. They have to take Broadwater, get him out of the pocket. He makes things happen. Second down the pitch. Oh, there's a stick. There is a stick. Stopped him right in his tracks. Jonathan Ordway, the redshirt freshman from Sefner, Florida. Take a listen to this pop here by Ordway. And the fans, <laughs> the football fans wearing BC colors, they appreciated that lick. One of our Eliminator Specials for the afternoon, 28-10. So we head to the fourth quarter here at Chestnut Hill, Mass. We're back with fourth quarter action right after this. 28-10, Boston College over Navy. Before we start the fourth quarter, let's go to John Sanders. You know, nobody on this sideline is assuming anything. We talked about Navy connections. With me is Phil Monahan, who's now the director of football operations here. After a long career in the Navy, you reached the rank of commanding general. You played at Navy. What kind of emotions did you have today going against your alma mater? Well, I, you know, I, first of all, I was a Marine. I was not in the Navy. I was in the Marine Corps, but I did go to the Naval Academy, and, and, and I can say that, you know, my, I still have great loyalty to the Naval Academy. I was very fortunate to be with four great teams, the Naval Academy, the Marine Corps, University of Virginia, and Boston College. And I'm here now, and uh, it is, uh, you know, you get a little down the dump here, rooting against your, your the, the school you went to, but it's still a, it's a great game, and I'm enjoying what I'm doing, so... Uh, I just can't say anymore. All right, Phil, thank you very much. Welcome, David? Nice touch. Good interview. And uh, Phil Monahan, congratulations. Uh, Ryan Reed on the uh, pick at the uh, reception there for Navy. It didn't take him long to get that little tidbit in the. I'm Marines. a Marine. That's it. <laughs> <And> <laughs> we're, we're the first ones on the job. There is a distinction. They'll yeah. tell you that. Stop and play. There's a. Oh, it was a kicking tee or tennis ball or something. Is at the other end yeah, of the somebody, field. Somebody had a tennis ball on the field. And, uh, you know, <laughs> this, this is the wrong place to have a uh, yeah. tennis ball. U.S. Open's already been played. B.C. with almost 500 yards in total offense. Navy coming back. Dingle running hard. He's down to the six-yard line. Navy started this drive at their own 40. And the big key's right here. Third down conversions. You know, B.C. 7 for 12. And let's remember. They started the game 0 for 3. Converted seven of the last nine third down opportunities. That is impressive. 
Second down and four. Balls at the six for Navy. Up the middle of Dingle. They got a good surge himself. We've been talking so much about the surge from BC's old line. Navy did a good job there. And you know somebody's name we haven't mentioned much this afternoon? Chris Hovan. And you talk about the Navy offensive line, Terrence Anderson. He is the uh, top offensive lineman. And their offensive line coach, Gene McKeon, he really, really likes him. You see that crab block? We'll get back to that. 13-37 to go, fourth quarter. Navy very much in this game if they get a touchdown. Broadwater takes it himself, trying to get the first down. It did not have far to go. Talked yesterday to Chris Hovan, the nose tackle. Terrence Anderson, this is one of the most uncomfortable positions. I've never seen a center this low, but he's crabbing. See him down on the legs, and he spends most of the day there. And, you know, somehow Chris Hovan gets through all those bodies. I don't know how he does that. It's like get skinny, get big. And for this guy, it's hard to get skinny. Say that again. He is put together, six foot four, about 285 pounds. And I would say at least three pounds of that is that face makeup. You know? <laughs> Navy just got a first down. It's first and goal for the midshipmen. Balls at the two-yard line. This is Big East football, everybody. Fourth quarter action at Alumni Stadium in Chestnut Hill, Mass. BC stepping out of the conference this week to take on Navy. I'm Dave Sims with Jeff Bostic and John Sanders and our Big East crew. Get your quarterback out of the pocket. Run throw option. Fullback. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Willits, 98, was there. And BC is probably not their biggest opponent right now. Right now, they're fighting the clock. Get the ball out on the edge, have a run throw option. Unfortunately, they decide to go for the quick handoff to the fullback, Irv Dingle. Romanowski made a nice play. And Freshman. friends, yes. and friends. Freshman had a low match. Option pitch, touchdown, maybe. John Vereen. From two yards out, 60-yard drive by the midshipman. This is what I was expecting from the Navy offense. Get Brian Broadwater on the edge with the ability to run the ball or run the option. Vereen breaks the arm tackle of George White and pops it in the end zone. And a timeout caught by Boston College as Navy lined up to go for two and BC was not ready. Same kind of play, get on the option here if you're Navy. Well, you can see they've, they've, they've moved the ball to the left hash. Uh, you would have to think they're going to take Broadwater, run him out to the right side where he can, number one, not be throwing across his body, but secondly, have the ability to run the football or throw it. To get inside the huddle of your favorite Big East team, go online at www.bigeast.org for all the football and conference news from around the Big East. Broadwater's been so adept at running the option, and Farina has been outstanding. So, gotta like your chances. Something going to the right. Wow. Tulane 52 24 at Rutgers. And Northwestern keeping it very respectable. Third period. John Sanders, alma mater, Kansas State up a touchdown on Iowa State. Missouri leading Nebraska. Good one in the SEC. That's a heck of a conference for football, isn't it? Southeastern Conference. I don't know that it gets much better than that. Wow. And John Sanders is, is getting very close to the Kansas State-Nebraska game, huh? Oh. You know, you have to think that uh, somewhere deep in John's heart, uh, maybe this is the year. <laughs> Rest assured, they beat Nebraska. They'll be calling. We could use another contribution. And a big one. There we go, two-point conversion. Oh, there's a killer. Costas Katsidakis. 
the junior from Lorba, your Belinda, California moves too soon. Get the ball out. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty. We're still on the track. It's kind of tough when you're 270 pounds to hide. Costas, hot, hot Sadakis. That's a mouthful. Here we go from just inside the 10 at the eight yard line. That's Williams in motion. Option, Broadwater. Does he keep it? He does. It's good for the two pointer. Beautifully done by Brian Broadwater. Outstanding. 10 point game. The key when you're running the option, make a decision and make it quick. Brian Broadwater faked it to the fullback. Decided to keep it, cut it up in the seam, and puts it in the end zone. Like we were thinking, figuring they were going to go right. They ran left. They got the deuce, and it's a 10-point game. Navy down 28-18. Back here at Boston College. Good response by Navy. Scoring drive of beauty. 12 plays, 5.06. And Vereen with the two-yard run. And you have to get Brian Broadwater out of the pocket. Waits until the last second right there. Pitches the ball. Number four, Vereen. Breaks the arm tackle of George White. They convert the two-point conversion. It's a 10-point game. You know what you have to ask. Navy's got a bag of tricks. Do you go to one with 12 minutes and 19 seconds to go? I don't think they'll surprise anybody with an onside kick. If I am the coach, I'm kicking it deep, and I'm counting on my defense to stop them. Get another defensive yeah, stop, touchdown, brings, the, brings you to within a field goal. There's a look at Jermaine Walker. Had a great day. Two TD uh, catches from Scott Mutri. Here's the kick. By Shibsta. And taken by Walker at about the field. That's at the sideline. Got a good block. Penalty flag. Going to bring it back as he's run out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Penalty flag back at the 28. 39-yard return. But it is coming back. So much yard is exchanged on special teams. Kicking game, kickoff coverage, kickoff returns, punting, punt returns. Also, a lot of penalties are picked up there. During the return, holding by the return team, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First step. So instead of the 43, they're back to the 16. With this officiating crew, we get a full-blown explanation, don't we? Got to like it. Tom O'Brien would like to see uh, get an explanation from his offense when they come back as how they uh, drove it down the field. Looking for some ball control. 12.07 to go. Oh, oh, my oh, 10. Oh, Mike Cloud back in the lineup. Mm -hmm. Harding in motion. Cloud gets the call running short side. Got a nice block. And he's knocked out of bounds. Boy, he, could, he would have been gone all the way. And Harding got a good block, not a great block. And the Navy defender was able to angle him out of bounds after a seven-yard gain. He's even exciting when he's running the ball, even when he runs it out of bounds. Watch his feet. Watch this cut right here. Right there. Right there, folks. The left foot out of bounds. Watch this move right here. Right there. He's out of bounds again, but what an exciting move. A guy that has the ability to move his hips. Seven-yard game, one of the best seven-yard games you'll see. Cloud gets the carry left side, running behind Brzezinski. About a yard shy of first down. Brad Chatlos brought him down, number 32. And how would you like to be Jamie Doffelmeyer? You're coming up to support the run, and you look up, number 74, Doug Brzezinski. Something's not fair about that. You know, Doffelmeyer taps at about 185. Brzezinski at about 305. There's a little bit of weight advantage. Let me tell you something, too. Brzezinski bringing some wheels, too, because he's getting out nicely to lead a lot of these uh, sprint draws. First down, Boston College. Yeah. 
Doesn't matter by how much, they just got it. Dick Bumpus, the Navy uh, defensive coordinator right now. You're like the guys playing cards. You have to take a little bit of chances now. Coming up with eight, nine people in the box. Obviously, they want to run the football. Speaking of BC, Navy has to make a big stop, hold the running back up, and try and strip the ball. They would love to get a strip. There's been one fumble today by Cloud outside to Walker. Another nice gain. That's good for a first down, just short of the 40-yard line. So Jermaine Walker, what a day he's having. That's a 13-yard pickup. The first half, they were picking on Mike Weedle. The second half, it seems to be David Alexander. Jermaine Walker, number one. Square out route. Look at the cushion. If you're a cornerback, you cannot allow that much cushion. Walker, six catches for 108 and two touchdowns. Cloud. And Navy does a nice job on that play. Holds him to a gain of one. Doffermeyer, he's everywhere. Makes the tackle. Good lacrosse player as well. He does love to hit. You know, it's always good to hit if you're a football player because there's the other side of it. <laughs> Being the hit E. That's the hammer and the nail theory. Bet. It's much better to be the hammer than the nail. James done a good job today. And I got to believe he's easily in double figure tackles. Nutrient going to throw in the second down play. Got his man Walker. That's his seventh catch. They corral him. Going to mark his progress just over the 50, and that's good for a first down. Navy trying to play a little bit of zone defense in the secondary. Jermaine Walker understands that sits down between the zone. The pass protection allows Mutrin time to sit in the pocket. The ball goes right by Mike Clouds, right there between the zone. Once again, he's picking on number 28, Alexander. Walker goes to the sideline. Under 10 and a half to go in the ball game. Draw the cloud and get him in the backfield. Nice play by Matt Dino. Junior out of Center Harbor, New Hampshire. So that time they get him in the backfield, bring up a second down and long for BC. But if you're BC, the, the clock continues to run. And we look at the rushing comparisons. The Navy squad with 136 for the day. BC's Mike Cloud with 157. And count. That's it. Three wideouts to Houston's left. They run Cloud. Nice cut back inside, but only good for about three. Defensive. Greg Adams, 93, as well as Daniel, 47, and Daniel's uh, limping. Greg Adams, number 93, out of Springfield, Virginia, right around the uh, corner from where I currently live. He went to Robert E. Lee High School. And Cloud once again took a shot to the back that slowed him down a little bit early in the first half. BC, seven for 12 and third downs this afternoon. They'll go out with the shotgun. From the 47, time for Mutual throws at Tokyo to first down and he dropped it. So Navy's gonna get the ball back at the nine minute mark. Down by 10. Very interesting situation. Jam O'Brien realizes he is not home yet. I'm surprised that the Navy bench has, has decided to leave their defense out on the field. Put Ryan Reed back for the punt from Jason Malecki. Very good high punt. They cannot prevent it from going into the end zone, though. That punt covered 47 yards. So when we come back, Navy's going to have the ball at its own 20-yard line with 8.49 to go in a ball game, trailing by 10, and a good one here at Chestnut Hill Mass. Gorgeous day here in Boston, the skyline of downtown. Beautiful afternoon here in New England. Let's look at Brian May. His day is done. Groin injury. Broadwater running the option across the. Uh, gets it up about two, three yards. As Navy starts from its own 20 on this drive. Adam Grace there for BC. 
Navy offensive coordinator Ken Niamatololo. Let's put the ball in the air. We can't continue to run the option. We're 10 points down. Less than eight and a half minutes to go. See what Navy does on the second and eight. Here's a throw. Good protection. Post pattern. Man there. Reed's got it. Foot race. And he's gone. Touchdown, Navy. 78 yards and good call, Jeff Bostic. We need to walk down the hall and see if the Navy coaching staff, and more namely the offensive coordinator, Ken Niamata Lolo, has the uh, television being broadcast into the booth. Broadwater, great job of faking the run. Outstanding. Big time throw, tight spiral, right in stride. Ryan Reed, number two. He beat Ordway. Jonathan Ordway. Ordway with a no-no. When you have a 10-point lead, keep everything in front of you. Well, you got a ball game, folks. Tom Vanderhorst, point after, makes it 28-23, 28-25 with a three-point edge for BC. With 8.06 to go, Brian Broadwater, a gorgeous throw to Ryan Reed. Touchdown, Navy. And Navy right back in the game. Midshipman counting them off here at Chestnut Hill, Mass. Midshipman back into this game. They were down by 18 points. They've made it up within three now. Reed has had a marvelous day. Four catches for 110 yards and a touchdown. How about Broadwater? 11 of 14 for a buck 92 and a touchdown. On the season, Broadwater's completing 74% of his passes in Tom O'Brien's club. Some anxious moments as the Navy fans well, have a lot of cause to celebrate. And that touchdown by Ryan Reed, the longest pass completion of the season for the uh, Navy midshipmen. Two plays, 80 yards in the drive, covering just 42 seconds. That's a quick strike offense, right? Mm-hmm. Boy, this changes the texture of the game now, up by three for Boston College, 8.06 to go. Walker, they drive him into the end zone. He'll keep it right there. Fourth quarter, Rutgers did score some points today, but Tulane's got some talent. Navy could tell you that. Ohio State is leading, as is Kansas State. 13 all as Nebraska's come back to tie. Wild one in Lexington. Army leading Notre Dame. So the service academies doing a good job today. From the 20, Mike Cloud. 29 30 yard line. We got a super block in the hole. The middle linebacker, Brett Chatlos. Boy, he got wasted by one of the big C big fellas. This is the type of situation if you're an offensive lineman, you live for. You know what? You're out there, you're doing the thing you like best. You're run blocking, you're taking some, you know, some direct hits on the, the defense. You're trying to take it away from them. You've been doing it all afternoon. Mike Cloud, the recipient of the big game. My hat is off to this BC offensive line. And you wonder how they've been mired in a three game losing streak. Biggest line in the Big East that averaging 6 4, 306. Outside, Chatlow could not get plowed. First down and more. Right out of the bounds at the 45 by Baz Williams. Too much speed for Mike Cloud or by Mike Cloud. Fourteen yard pickup by Cloud. You know what you think you can catch my Cloud. Right there. Chatlos. Just a shoe away. Almost. Mike Cloud. You know, he's the type of running back you want on your backfield. He doesn't fumble the ball very often. He has that home run potential. When he gets past the second level, he can go the distance. Fourteen carries, 184 yards for Cloud. We still have seven and change to go. Mutrin. Deep out, Walker, two TDs already today. This for a first down to the 41. Raz Williams, as well as Doffelmeyer there for Navy. Austin College Eagles, 0-6 in the month of October under Tom O'Brien. 
trying to end a three game losing streak. They started off beautifully here in 98. Three and oh, but a struggle since. Navy at two and four coming off a 42 35 win over Colgate last week at homecoming down in Annapolis. Wow. Ran into Chatlos. He got a nice stick there, Brad did, coming up on that play. And let's go down to John Sanders. Well, one thing that has certainly changed is the attitude along this Navy bench. That last touchdown, that long bomb, woke this ball club up. I don't think that they have given up at all. Certainly you go back to the game last week when they had that huge fourth quarter that lifted them to the victory over Colgate. Nobody on this Navy bench is quitting in this ball game this afternoon, but with 6-12 to go, they need to stop right here. That they do. Thank you, John. They got 21 fourth quarter points last week to beat Colgate. Second and 10, little play action. Here's Mutual. Cardio catches this one after dropping the last attempt, and he's got a first down to the 26. Enrico Hunter on the stop for Navy. Gain of 15. Now this drive is very productive, having started at the Boston College 20. And it's a good mix of run and pass. You think, well, you've got a, a three-point lead, five and a half minutes to go. You're going to be running the football with Mike Cloud. Uh -uh. How about Rob Tardio? Wide open. The play action freezes the linebackers. Takes it down to the 26-yard line. Second catch of the day by Tardio. More play action. Brzezinski, nice block. Nutrient end zone. Got a man there. The Cosmo. No, sir. He dropped it. The Cosmo. A good layout. Could not bring it in. This is a very aggressive offensive drive here by BC. And a case where the AstroTurf will cause the ball to break free. Number 11, Anthony DeCosmo, he had Adam Creshawn beat to right. Good throw by Mutrin. He's got it right there. Nope, nope, never had control of it. Great camera work, watch this angle. He's fully extended, can't quite bring it in, and once he hits the ground, no chance. A lot of want to in that play by DeCosmo. Second down, they bring a whole package. Get it out to Walker. But not much of a game there. Jailbreak there by Navy. Brought everybody. Snyder was there. The senior from MacArthur, Ohio. Number 97 putting some pressure on Mutrin. Another catch by Jermaine Walker. Brings up the biggest play in this game, Dave, with five minutes to go and counting. Third down and nine. Navy has to stop. Eight catches on the day for Walker. Third and long. Under five to play. Mutrin's numbers. Not bad. He hasn't been picked yet. Out of the gun, another blitz. Got time. Sideline, and he thought the receiver was going to turn it up. Harding broke it out on a square out. And a big incompletion for Scott Mutrin in BC. And you see Tom O'Brien's lips. He said, What happened? In comes the field goal kicker, John Medich. This from 44 yards out. He's long this year, 36 yards. And it's into a little bit of a win. Going to call it 43 yards. Tim Hasselbeck is the holder. High snap by Kyle Gieselman. The kick by Manich is good. <laughs> 43 yards on the field goal by Manich. Manich on the season now. Seven for eight. That was a good drive by BC. 436 to go. Boston College up 31-25. Nice handling of the snap by Tim Hasselbeck. We're back to Boston College. The Eagles leading 31-25. We're glad to have you with us in a high-scoring affair at Chestnut Hill Mass. 31-25 Boston College. 436 to go. And next week. Big East football will take you to Blacksburg, Virginia. These folks do not like each other, and this will be a big game. West Virginia and Virginia Tech on Halloween. Check your local listings. Some of you are in our audience. We'll see Pittsburgh against Syracuse.
Make sure you check your local listings. Join us for Big East football next Saturday. John Maddox, 43-yard field goal. He kicks off. It's 31-25. Wolf from about the six. Breaks a tackle. The kid runs hard to the 27-yard line. Jason Wolf's had a good day. 24 yards on that kickoff return. Charlie Weatherby's team has given themselves an opportunity to win this ball game. When it looked like it was down and out at 28 to 10, four minutes and 28 seconds to go, they're still in this game. Big East football, glad to have you with us. I'm Dave Sims with Jeff Bostick and John Sanders. This has been an outstanding contest. From the 29, Broadwater keeps it himself, follows the fullback, nice gain across the 35. Boy, some good ball handling. Picks up seven on that play. He, he tricked me. I thought the fullback had the football. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he put it in and then pulled it out and followed right behind him. And, and the scary thing, I'd be more than willing to bet that Dingle thought he had the ball also, at least <laughs> at least for a short time. You bet. You know, I like what I see in Broadwater. Tough physical kid that's got some speed. Their average on first down has been impressive today. Here he is again. Picks up the first down to the 40. <laughs> Here's another thing to consider too with this option. You're always on your edge, on the edge, worried about all the things that can happen with the way this option offense, or this spread offense presents itself. Now you get into crunch time here. You know, touchdown game, 3:43 to go. I mean, if you're a DB for Boston College, you got smoked for 80 yards, for 78 yards the last time uh, maybe had the ball. Safeties had better stay back. Run the option beautifully done, and that's. Fans was Chris Hovan. That was marvelous. When in doubt, wipe out the quarterback. And the four thing, yard loss. The thing they've done with the BC defense, they've taken him off the nose position where he'd have to fight against that uh, scrambling block. You know, he absolutely destroys the offensive line, breaks into the backfield. Yeah, he's excited. I love that face paint, though. It's not for me, but I like it on him. <laughs> he's the leader. Boston College tackles for losses. He's first to debate Broadwater. Throws it out. This could be another throw. And it is. Deep down the field. Wolf is there. He's got it. To the 15 yard line. First down, Navy. The pass was thrown by Rennell Reyes, a 5'11 senior from San Diego, California. And Charlie Weatherby, he's just throwing the whole kitchen at Rutgers. 48 yards. We said it earlier in this game, the Navy bag of tricks are deep. Ronel Reyes, and once again, a ball that's underthrown, number 33, Jason Wolf, clearly behind the secondary. Broadwater, nice cut upfield. Picks up about three. And Brittingham has the trail back on that. Give me. Wolf. Wolf has played an outstanding game this afternoon. The senior from North Canton, Ohio, Jason Wolf. Kickoff returns. He's got three catches for 87 yards. Crowd into this one. So we approach two minutes. 31 25. Navy on the attack. Fullback, Dingle, big yardage inside the 10 to about the 8. And now, Dave, you're in four-down territory. Navy is going to be presented with about a third down and three and a half, four yards. Call it a long four yards. And they call timeout. Ball's right in the middle of the field. Give me your call on this one. Well, I think you can do a lot of things. Obviously, you're going to take the, the ball out of the pocket. Run the option. You've got to get Broadwater on the edge. That's how your offense has had a success today. Oh. And tremendous. He does a good job in making decisions on when to pitch the football. But once again, we're in four down territory. This Navy offense has two downs, two downs to pick up four yards. You look at his numbers, 20 carries, 55 yards. More impressed with the ability of passing the football, 11 for 14. Ah, that's tremendous. And the thing about this Navy squad, there's no quit. Ryan Broadwater out of Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania, southeast of Harrisburg, PA, on that turnpike. Four for ten on third down situations for the Naval Academy. On the season, Navy just 37%. An 
noiseometer. Getting the folks here at Alumni Stadium to whip it up. A buck 46 to go. Third down four from the Boston College eight yard line. Broadwater, option, pitch it. Got it to Vereen. Vereen to the corner. Touchdown, Navy! They ran the option. They did it to perfection. John Vereen, an eight yard run. Vereen's second TD of the afternoon. We talked at the top of the game. Navy's offense is unique, the spread offense. So many different things you can do. It's a version of a run and shoot offense. It's also a triple option. They fake the dive. Broadwater, great blocking downfield. These wide receivers at Navy will block. Vereen sticks in the end zone. What a comeback by the Naval Academy. Vanderhorst for the first lead since 10-7. Point after is in the books and Navy leads 32-31 with 1.41 to go in the game. Vereen has had a marvelous afternoon. Seven carries, 67 yards, and two touchdowns. This is important as any. Navy taking the lead here at Boston College. Today's game has been brought to you by the new Dodge. From cars to minivans to trucks, it's about change. The new Dodge. Mr. Vereen has put Navy on top. John Vereen, the junior out of Pasadena, Maryland. And Tom O'Brien watching his alma mater play an inspired fourth quarter with 22 points. They'll have to call the Naval Academy the cardiac kids, won't they? I'm telling you. Last week against Colgate, 21 points in the fourth quarter. This, this afternoon, 22. Tell you what, you want to see some inspired play. Watch Navy on this kickoff right now. Schuster has it teed up. One point lead with 141 to go. He drives Walker into the end zone and a touchback. It'll be first and 10 for BC at its own 20. When you talk about the spread offense, watch the offensive line play. You got you got two linemen going this way. You got another one pulling here. Well, they're going to take the running back Dingle, and they're going to fake him uh, strong side. Why don't we bring the running back around, and then we're going to run the option. Watch all this misdirection. Right here's the decision. Watch the bottom of your screen. Right here. Hold it right there. Number 25, Manny. Yep. Manny Metcalf with a big block in the open field. John Green's had a big afternoon. Now it's on the BC offense. Newton running. Throws. And got a man to Cosmo. And that'll be a nine yard pickup. So Anthony DeCosmo, another catch for BC. And if you're in the BC huddle right now, you're in shock. Oh, no you had question. a game that it was 28 10. It looked like you could put it on cruise control. Mike Cloud is enjoying uh, a big afternoon. Now you've got to turn it back on. DeCosmo, four catches, 64 yards. Clock at 134. Four man rush. Neutron, flush. And there he goes! A sack for Navy! That's the second sack of the afternoon. Snyder's got it. Is it a touchdown? The referee, touchdown, Navy! Jason Snyder! There was a loose ball. Jack Childress, the referee, was saying, hey, you tell me. Tom O'Brien is stunned. Jack Childress and his crew will sort things out. The fumble was recovered with a player on the ground. It is a first down. Navy takes over with 1.19 to go and a one-point lead. What a turnover that was for BC. Scott Neutron all day long in the pocket. The one thing you can't do as a quarterback with this amount of time on the clock is take the sack, throw the ball away, and live for second down. 
Jason Snyder, the co-captain, strips the ball. It's ruled as a fumble, and Navy takes possession. Huge turnover. That is absolutely amazing. So Navy, with 1.31 to go, can just run out the clock. A stunned Boston College Club. They took over with 1.41 to go. Fumble it. Now Navy will try to run it out. Dingle up the middle to the 25. Tom O'Brien and his BC staff and players have to be asking, where did this thing get away? Obviously a big part of it, Ryan Reed, 78-yard touchdown reception early in the fourth quarter, brought life back to the Navy bench. And you have, you have to tip your hat to that Navy squad. There's no quit in them. That's right. Utrin to Walker for 46 yards. Third quarter made it 28 to 10. And then Vereen, Broadwater to Reed, and Vereen with touchdowns, and Navy throwing a two-point conversion in there. And Navy's got a lead. And our Dodge player of the game, an easy selection. He's done an outstanding job running the spread offense. 11 for 14, a buck 92. Ryan Broadwater. His second start at Navy. He's going to come away with a huge win here at Chestnut Hill, Mass. Tom O'Brien's Boston College Eagles are still looking for their first victory in October under uh, O'Brien's lead. This will make, unless we're looking at Joe Pisarchikville here. Light 25 to go. Lightning does not strike twice, does it? <laughs> I'm going to step away from you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Broadwater just going to keep not even thinking about pitching for Reed. Nice block. And Broadwater doubles up on the ball. You hear the BC players calling for a timeout. Chris Lepore. Check that, Adam Creech. My mistake, George White was there on the stop. Last timeout taken by Boston College. Final. Down at Piscataway, Rutgers did put some points up, but Tulane's a very good club. Ohio State, not a surprise there. Kansas State, they want a piece of that national championship. Nebraska's taking the lead after being down 13-7. Still a wild one down in Lexington, Kentucky. Notre Dame in a battle with Army. Tell you what, this could be one heck of a day for the service academies. Don't forget, next week, West Virginia, Virginia Tech. Many of you will see that game noon Eastern time from Blacksburg, Virginia. A lot on the line there. Big East standing, bowl bid. Possibly the biggest game of the Big East for the 1998 season. And some of you will see Pittsburgh against Syracuse. And noon start, make sure you check your local listings. 117 to go, Navy. 32-31, Broadwater to Dingle, and Dingle running hard, holds on to the ball, and he's close to first down yardage. George White comes up for the stop again. And for the midshipmen of the Naval Academy, it looks like they're going to find their first road victory of 1998 and improve to three and four. 22 fourth quarter points. That coming on the heels of a 21 fourth quarter point effort last week at home against Colgate. It'll just be inches shy of a first down with 110 to go. What a performance in this with Mike Cloud putting up close to 200 yards on the ground himself for Boston College. The Navy hung in there. No sign of panic this afternoon. Came up with several big plays. And if you're Charlie Weatherby, you have to ask, you're going to let the clock run down and, and call timeout with about one or two seconds to go. Do you kick the field goal? Well, you risk blocking it, getting it blocked. And 
having a bounce maybe go against you. And there are a lot of things that we've seen in football that, that sometimes goes a little bit of ride. You bet. I, I would probably take my chances, snapping the ball, seeing if I can't pick up the first down, and then, you know, packing my bag and heading back to Annapolis. Forty five seconds to go. Let the clock run down. Brian Broadwater. Very impressive. And here's the big touchdown that helped put Davy in the lead. And we're talking about a lot of misdirection. Key block. Manny Metcalf, number 25. John Vereen with a big afternoon. And they scored on that same play when we thought they were going to go wide to the right. Same play. Here's Vanderhorst. He's going to have it lined up. 29, 39 yard field goal attempt. Already hit one today. 31 yards to open the scoring. A high snap. Vanderhorst up. And he missed it. Wide to the left. So Boston College with 41 seconds to go. And they will take over. I really don't understand that decision. I thought they were going to go for it. I would have gone for it. Taking my chance with my running attack. I am the number one team in the nation running the football. Broadwater's almost pitched a perfect game. And don't allow BC to get the football back. Remember, BC only needs a field goal. 41 seconds, there's plenty of time. And Maddich has hit one from 43, so there is life for BC. That play is whistled dead. Penalty flag with 36 seconds to go. Damian Woody throwing his hands up in the air. This is against Boston College. Ball foul, ball start on the offense. Five yards, still first down. Seams have come out of Boston College. They still have a chance. But the clock in the distance against them right now. Jack Childress requested. Some time be put back on the clock. So they put five seconds back on the clock to 41. I'm still in shock by the fact that yeah. Navy, Navy went for the field goal attempt. There are so many things that can happen. You can make the field goal, but you'll miss it, have it blocked, bad snap. A lot of bad things can happen. Newton with time underneath the Tardio to the 30 yard line. That's good for first down. Clock and stops. Third and, and five stops seconds. the clock, exactly. Scott Mutrin has got to use the sideline. He can't throw the ball in the middle of the field. No timeouts for Boston College. Future looking left, throws left. Got a man there. It's Dennis Harding. Gain of five to the 38 with 25 seconds to go. Now, if you're Tom O'Brien and offensive coordinator Jeff Jagosinski, you got to take chances. You're going to have to start stretching the field a little bit more, throwing the ball downfield, making the field more vertical. No timeouts left for Boston College. Down a point, 32-31 to Navy. Future looks to Tardio, tight end, out of bounds at the 46-yard line. <laughs> Got to get to about the 26-yard line. That would be a 43-yarder. That's what they hit last time. They need to pick up about 25 to 30 yards. The thing about it, they don't have that much time. You're going to have to take chances with longer completions. You only have 19 seconds remaining. Neutron is thrown for 336 yards. 28 of 43. That time had a man in his face down. Field, he's got a completion. Anthony DeCosmo to the 32. 13 seconds to go. Mutrin has to get under center and kill the clock. Matt Dano coming off the field for Navy. They just had to put Matt Williams in at linebacker. Mutrin kills the play right there with eight seconds to go. It'll be second and 10 from the 31. Now it's decision time for Tom O'Brien. Does he take one more shot at throwing the ball downfield? The thing about it, if you're a receiver and you don't get the first down, you have to get out of bounds. Or does he bring in his field goal kicker and attempt a 50-yarder into the win? Look for an out pattern here. 
game looked like Navy with fourth and inches. They'll be talking about that decision to go for the field goal. Anderhorst missed it. Five catches, 100 yards for DeCosmo. Eight seconds to go. Utrin, sideline, complete. Walker out of bounds at the 22. And here comes John Maddich. And Maddich already with a 43 yarder to his credit. Seven of eight on the season. Boston College with a chance to steal this game right back from Navy. It appeared that Navy was going to get out of here with a win. What a brilliant drive by the BC offense. Scott Mutrin and company giving their team an opportunity to win. 40 yards out, four seconds to go. Maddox from the right hash. And Navy calls timeout to ice him. If I'm John Maddox, I go back to the sideline right now. Don't stand there. Don't look at the goalpost. Go back to the sideline. Come back on the field. Start fresh. Slight wind in his face. This is why I would not want to be a kicker. Oh, my stomach's turning up here. I'm telling you. There's a look at the wind. When we started the day, it was 7 to 10 miles an hour. This is Big East football. I'm Dave Sims, Jeff Bostick, and John Sanders here. What a game this has been. The Naval Academy took a 32-31 lead with 140 to play. And they had a fourth in inches. They decided to go for a field goal and missed. Now, here's Boston College, seemingly in the clubhouse with an L with a chance to win it. A 40-yard field goal by John Maddox, who's seven of eight on the season. One for one this afternoon. Tim Hasselbeck, the holder, the snap is Kyle Gieselman. Good slow snap, handled nicely. The kick is up. No good, Navy escapes with the win. 32, 31, he hooked it left. Talk about a sigh of relief and the despair on the sideline of Boston College. Navy has survived. The snap threw the timing off. Here's a look. It's a low snap. Hasselbeck does a good job trying to put it up. Maddich hooks the ball. Nanosecond made the difference in Tom O'Brien's Boston College Eagles now 0-7 in the month of October. They've lost four straight. BC falls to three and four. Navy improves to three and four. For John Sanders and Jeff Bostick, I'm Dave Sims. Thanks for joining us. It's been a beauty in Chestnut Hill, Mass. The Naval Academy wins by one, 32-31.